There we oh, go. No. Welcome. Okay, <laughs> now you can hear us. <laughs> welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Wednesday. And uh, welcome to Erlen and welcome hey to you. Uh, this is where we play new games on classic consoles. Where cats misbehave. We got Cat Pixel misbehave. Man. He's already fucking with the show. Yep. Um, so, welcome. And today we're going to be playing the RPG Penalt on the Atari 2600. Yeah, which is a staggering achievement that it's already... I and mean, last time we tried to play it, we had a little tech issue... But it was just because I think it's such a massive game that, that was, it's no, that was, oh yeah, it was it was crashing a little bit. Yeah, we He's fixed that. We up, just had so. a bug, and that, but I mean that's the reality when you're doing an RPG in in comparison oh to something else is the amount of screens you have to generate, the amount of material. So I'll, I'll put up with that. I got no issue with it, and it's still a work in progress. Yes. But uh, he's fixed up a bunch of stuff. There's been a lot of play testing in the forums, so hopefully it should be good. And we're here to test too. Really? Yeah, and it's just not a final game yet. And didn't you say we have time machines, so we're able to sort of save what it is we're doing? Or, we, yes, or is there a different approach we'll take? Um, in case it crashes? In yeah. case it, if it crashes completely, I don't like the actual software crashes. There's no escaping that. Yeah. If the game crashes, yes, we can rewind it a bit, hopefully, and go back to a state where it's not crashing, but... We'll work with we'll what we got. We'll see how that goes. Because that's yeah. the reality of an RPG is the ability to save your progress is everything. Yes. Uh, cats do learn to uh, misbehave, to get uh, petted. So, yeah. Or just attention. Att attention in general. It's and, just more, uh, yeah, it's like, what, what is funny with cats, because they don't actually care w until you're <laughs> looking at something else, and then they want your, it's like. Yeah, and he's, Pixel's the master of attention. Um, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, uh, Captain Classic, Coconut81, Dan AVC, MU Dan, Gredems, Ground Trooper, I supposed to Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Sir Cat Like, Spartan581, Spicewear, S. Ramirez2008, The D Train, The Welshman89, T Dan K, and Teat Fos. Wow. And I want to thank all the people who've joined us live here today. Yeah, there's already a lot of people. It's pretty amazing. Thrust26, Dan AVC, Spartan581, Repentless VG, Dios Kilos, Azure, Azure. 6502, uh, Generation 2 Games. And thrust. thrust and ah. everybody else who's lurking and watching oh yeah and i'm sure there's some folks on youtube as well oh yeah cool. watching in the repeats and uh make sure you just fo you follow subscribe and click like and all the things so you can keep up with what we do it's a video is pausing for me audio is fine i think today there's been it, we've just been noticing the stream seems to be a, a dipping in and dipping. out i think we're gonna have to close the door Pixel is wanting a lot of attention say bye yeah say man bye. goodbye bye bye sorry Maybe later. Yeah, you just don't, at a certain point, you don't want him to be having to deal with Pixel. <laughs> I love him to death, but, but oh man. my god. Video is stopping, starting audio is okay. Well, right now it's, yeah. It's just us talking, so you're not missing anything yeah, in the video. Yeah, thankfully. And, it just, and the rea it's also at moments like this you realize how hopeless we actually are <laughs> when it comes to, because I mean, if the internet just starts doing it, like what do we do? We can reset modems, we can do a lot of stuff, but... Not yeah, much. Not much. But it is recording locally perfectly, so you can watch in the archives or anything you missed if it's cutting out ah, completely. Ah, yeah. It's a good Cat in 3D. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so we've got a package here. Oh, for the Twitch, you can um, subscribe for free and support the show if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. So we've got a package here. I'll make sure I don't have any showing off my address. Yeah, oh man, it's just holding red now. Oh, it's not actually that... Oh, it's jumping all around. So, sorry guys, oh. you're going to have to deal with it. I'm not going to be resetting stuff. This would be, the, this, just be, this would be a podcast slash... <laughs> yeah, know. just close your eyes. Because you're here just to hear us speak, you know. Slideshow mode. Slideshow mode engaged. God <laughs> damn it. Sorry, dudes. It sucks. Get one frame a second. We're, uh, we're, we're harking back to the MySpace days. <laughs> That's we're, right. We're wanting to... <laughs> Two frames a second. 2006 Jeff's YouTube, you know? Oh, my God. I was a, that was a, I remember the first time that YouTube came out and you could just stream and play a video without downloading. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. It changed the world. Revolutionary. 
Come on. Settling down a tad. That's good. I hope that it levels out um, as the, as the stream bit, goes yeah. on. There's only so much that can be done. Uh, yeah, we just... God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I think it's cer it's probably on our end a oh, it little is on bit. Our end. We can just see 100%. right now that it's that it's it's going. It's going, it's going end, to green so. to red to yellow. But as James said, it will be perfectly uploaded onto YouTube yes. later. Not that that matters for you folks who are here. Yes. So oh, I got wow. these all the way from Greece, and what these are is little adapters. Whoa! It's for uh, Atari fifty two hundred, so that you can plug in regular joysticks into it any atari joysticks you want um oh actually, that's very useful yeah so if you like a certain type of joystick you will be able to use it on the atari 5200 which is notoriously difficult to use because of its very terrible joysticks it got shipped with oh, so man. everybody's always looking for substitutes now i have a number of them that's terrific <clears throat> so it supports um Amiga, Atari 8-bit joysticks, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, and uh, two buttons on them. And it's got a little start button there, so you can just start playing games. Uh, most of the games that don't have a bunch... Because the 5200 also came with a number pad, so the games that don't have a number pad, you can just start playing them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, restart the stream. I mean, I don't know what I can say. Sorry, dudes. You yeah. have to just... Unless you want me to reboot the modem, it's going to be minutes, like five minutes, if I start rebooting everything. Um, so, vote. <laughs> <laughs> vote in the uh, vote in the chat if you want me to re yeah, reboot everything. Yeah, if it's getting to be such a problem that you guys can't do it, we, we will do a quick little reset. Because it's reset. not much point. It's back it's now, back yeah. Now. Uh, it's been going red throughout the whole thing. <clears throat> so anyway, I got two of these. Um, so if anybody wants, if anybody doesn't want us to reboot, <laughs> let us know now. Yeah. We will reboot the modem and the router. Um, it's not pausing, pausing as much. But now. but it seems to be like an intermittent, consistent In problem. Yeah, it's going red all the yeah. time, constantly. It's just whether you get it or not. Um. See, now the stream is just going to be us staring at the stream to see, make sure the stream is like, working. Yep. Yeah. Three megasecond, 2.8. What do you think? Should we just do it? 1.2. It's it's constant. It's not getting any better. Yeah, let's just do it. So you can entertain the crowds. No, don't reboot. I can catch up on YouTube. <laughs> uh, we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, I think we'll just do it so that way it, it becomes a, a functional thing for us to go with. Um, I'm really stoked for the show today, actually, because... I'm most excited that we're playing an RPG, and it's neat because it's a little more, it's a little bit closer to, like, what I used to, you know, play growing up, and I, like, RPGs are my thing. Like, I've loved RPGs pretty much my whole life. I think the very, very first game that I ever played, which really got me, was 1997 Diablo, and I played uh, it on a Windows 95 that's on like my dad's. Three, that's like a three-quarter view PC game. Totally, right? and it's had sort of all the rudimentary beginning elements of RPGs where you had, like, mm. um, you know, pretty much everything. Like, it had, yeah. you know, like a rogue, a warrior, a mage. Okay, are we going to do reset? It's re it's resetting now. This is bonus content for YouTube. Oh wow! Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bonus YouTube. So uh, we can't see any of the chat right now because we're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna get anything. But, but yeah, we're but, still doing it for YouTube. That's right. But no, that was my favorite game growing up. Yeah. Um, and I played the shit out of that game. <laughs> unbelievable amount was that online and single player yeah i like only could do both i only did single player though okay. when i when i was when i started doing it and and i think uh, the thing about it was um it was just the perfect solution to all my problems <laughs> 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 because oh because i was like you know like a lonely kid and and getting to sort of like be immersed in this other world was so good and right. and then also i love the replayability of the fact that you could play a rogue you could play a wizard you could play a warrior yeah. and it would change the game completely absolutely they would have different abilities and and also use different items like spells or you know uh, a fighter would be able to use bigger weapons that uh that a, a magician would be able to do yeah 
And is and it was in, it's a cool game because um, everyone has spells, so any character can use spells. Okay. But the mana <laughs> is so low on on the other characters. But then like you yeah. use different spells, like things like you can cast like a shield to give yourself extra defense. So if you're a uh, warrior, so so the magic was an integral part. Oh yeah. Of it. And it was ruthless. Like you get killed, and all your items would just drop on the ground, and then you have to go and pick them up. Uh, where would you respawn? Was there in safe? town, always in town. So if you're like way down in the dungeon, you'd be like, "Well, I got to start again." Yeah, you'd have all your, you keep all your experience. Yeah, you'd and just then you lose have all to... your items, though. That's right. Would you lose your gold? Yeah, everything well, would just get toasted. So you'd have to like to even get items back. You'd have to go fight a little bit. What well, you what you do is you run bit. naked without your gear to go retrieve <laughs> your gear. It's really fun. Can um, you put like? weapons caches nearby it's like uh can you store something in a house not really oh it was God. a very primitive kind of rpg come on reboot um, it'll, it'll come back but um <laughs> yeah. on uh the it was the first one i loved and this the movement speed was so slow and it was really like rough but it was oh, also okay. very but there were unique items you could find yeah and it was just really like a perfectly little designed game, and there's like 15 levels, and you enter a church, and yeah. this, and the, and the lore. It was also the tone of it. It was so good. Yeah, I I never played Diablo, um, but obviously I I've heard of it. Oh oh oh, maybe it's back. Uh, so it was hugely popular. It had many sequels, right? Yeah, Diablo three at least. Uh, um, Is that where yeah, it stopped? that's where it stopped. Okay, that's back. <laughs> Let's uh, try to restart the stream now. We're still recording locally. Yeah, but... Okay, stream is back. See if it holds green. And people will have to repopulate themselves. Yeah. I told them they'd be offline for a couple minutes. Oh, so far green. I think we might have definitely... Wow, I hope it fixed it. So far, so good. Okay. Uh, we'll wait for a couple people to come back in. Um... Let me just uh, type in here live again. Well, yeah, I'm not a, um, I'm certainly no expert on RPGs, but I would say that like my knowledge is pretty, pretty good when it comes to certain ones. I, yeah, and, and, and I, I mean you have a very good knowledge of the basics of well, what RPGs are. And, yeah, and I mean I played a lot of old school. Like in the beginning of the show, before the show was streaming, we we're playing a lot. Of, we we're playing Ultima music. Oh, this is holding nice. This is good. Excellent. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, so far, no stuttering. Yeah, we're holding really well now. Yeah, I'm happy Solid we did group. that. We just didn't want to screw you guys over. And, and the developer, too. Like yeah, the it's just put not fair. All my, uh, work into the game, and then people can't watch it live, and that sucks. I'm, I'm glad the modem rebooted. Uh, did it because sometimes when you reboot the modem it's now talking on a different frequency ah and maybe that other frequency is very populated or even having an issue so anyway that's technical it's, it's certainly better this is oh yeah it's green. This, it Solid seems green. to be like yeah because i i would not watch a stream that was phasing in and out personally no, pointless. <laughs> that could, i would just go do other shit and then yeah. i would watch it on youtube so i'm happy we we made the choice i manually set the channel on my wi-fi right oh it's it's not our wi-fi it's um, it's like the modem to connected to our ISP, yeah. which I can't set what frequency it, it connects up to. So we got a couple more uh, news items. Uh, Fool's Ooh. Gold by Dianoid, his newest game that he's working on, which is a port of Load Runner. He uh, recently put up a binary of the game for screen size testing for CRTs, because he he has to make quite tall the game to fit the whole visual level on there so he was uh asking people to check it out to make sure it doesn't go off the screen of the crt um but it was the title screen that he asked for uh help on like to visually see it and yeah. send screenshots back but he also included a non-playable level on it so we're going to take a quick look at that oh, even though it's a not a, like a game we're going to be playing because it's, it's not a game but it's impressive enough to like. Oh, that's great! We can take a quick look at it. So let's check that out really quick. That's why I didn't in include it in like games we're playing because it's not really we're not really playing it. If you want to grab the joystick. Oh, there. sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I'm just really excited to about this game coming up because I mean, Dianoid is is an amazing. Uh, everybody's saying 44 is the best. So we're gonna okay take a look at that. So here's uh, here's the title screen that he's asking people to help with, and you can see it's well actually showed up really good there, but it's like filling our screen here. Yeah, it's like he's like 
loading it up. Let's actually go to 40, so it's a little bit... That's fine. Okay, so he's got... That's the testing screen that he's asking everybody um, to look at. So if you press the button... Whoa, okay. This is like the transition. That's an amazing transition for that's a 2600. A, that's like a proper dissolve. Oh, yeah. It's like... What, what's that? I, iris, iris Dissolve? Yeah. yeah, Iris in, Iris out, all that so, stuff. Let's going to get stuff. this going here. Whoa, okay. I didn't understand the concept yet. This guy's climbing up. Interesting. So the goal is to collect all the gold. Whoa, check this out, man. You can, like, climb. Yeah. Is there a time limit? There must There's be. There's nothing on this. Ah. Uh, I don't think there is a time limit. I like this character a lot. This is very cool. Yeah, it's got a really nice animation. I'm going to see if I can do this little hangy trick right here. Let's see if this works. Yeah, check it out. See, there's ladders, there's a little thing you can cross. I'm a big fan of that. I really like that. And if, if you use the button, you can also dig in the ground and fall through it. So if you need to escape... Ooh, and there's like enemies and whatnot? You, you can't finish the level. No. But that is the level finish. Is you get all the gold and you get to the end of the level. Um, I'm very... I'm really... One thing I'm really curious is can I die, can I die from falling? I just want You can't die in this game and you can't die from falling. No. In the, per, in the full game. But if you dig yourself a hole, like if you go to the bottom and you dig yourself a hole and you go in it and it... Event, like you can't get out now. It's going to fill up. And it's going to fill up and... You would die in the proper game. In this one, you don't die. And now it's just bugged out. <laughs> no, ah, that makes sense. So that's the only way to like... Yeah, so in, in the actual game, there's a bunch <clears throat> of enemies chasing after you, and they just make a beeline for you. Makes so you sense. have to dig a hole, they fall in it, and they die. Or they wiggle themselves out. Yeah, or I guess if you're up top, then they just fall to like the bottom level. Yeah, they'll fall, they'll jump down, and it's quite, quite challenging. Um... But it's a, an amazing start. He's got almost all the mechanics. So he's right now he's looking, he's working on the AI of the enemies, and there's an actual book on the AI of Load Runner. <laughs> so he's just like using the book as reference. Um, so that'll be coming real soon. That's for sure. In the Game Boy version of Load Runner, there was a Playfield editor. Yes, I'm really hoping that he releases a Playfield editor. Um, before the game's done, so people can make levels for ah, the, for the full not? game. Why not? I mean, you have the internet. You've got this yeah. amazing database of creative people. Why not use it? Yeah, it'll be fun to, to make some levels for Load Runner, like make some really challenging ones or artistic ones or like, yeah. Um, and this one, this next uh, news item, you'll be really interested in. Ooh. Andrew Davies' new game he's working on is chess. Oh, shit. For the 2600, and it oh. is nice looking. That'll be a lot of fun, man. I haven't played in a while. I, uh, I, I gave up on it after I had this so. incident with a girl. It was not... <laughs> oh, I gave ruined it. chess for you for well, life. I, well, it didn't ruin chess for me for life, but I was playing chess with this girl, and then at a certain point, I just felt like, man, this isn't making me feel closer to <laughs> anybody. Uh, it's a very combative game, but it is, yeah. it'll be fun to see how the AI is and how, how yeah. he does, because... The reality of chess AI is that, you know, they've admitted that chess AI, like the greatest chess player in the world, gets dominated by a computer. Now they do. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't the case. Like, it was all the deep blue thing with, yep. uh, you know, with, with Kasparov. Ten, ten years ago was when computers beat the hu first I, human. I think there. so. It yeah. was, I mean... Ten or fifteen, yeah. And then now, so it would be neat to see how he deals with the AI, because the AI of chess is, there's been a lot of stuff that's gone into yeah. that. And there's, but it's limited by an Atari 2600. Yeah. So it'd be very so, interesting. So we'll see how level it can get to. Yeah, right? and but I mean, I that the reality of a chess computer is like a pretty good chess computer will destroy most, <laughs> most ordinary people. people. Wipe the floor. So, but uh, so he hasn't done the AI yet, mm -hmm. but he's pretty much done the interface, the movement. So we oh, can that's check amazing. that out really briefly. We'll actually play the game when he's got some AI. Oh, in that'll it. be Cause fun. Because. That, that's when it's going to be fun. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how to play. You would destroy me, like in five. Maybe moves. it's hard to know. It's no, sometimes no, things would. are <laughs> sometimes things are like random that way, you know. Yeah, but I, but I do really like it. Um, so I, I'm definitely gonna save that game for a Wednesday. For yeah, you. that'll be great, and it'll be fun to sort of see like the choices they're making too. Yes, because I actually do know the game, so I might be able to like give some perspective, you know. So let's actually start that again so you can see how it nicely draws in the screen there. 
so oh. it's kind of cutting it off a little bit. But it's crazy because like oh the first column I don't think is working yet. You make sense. So it's it's crazy because I have to sort of guess as to what they are. Because I mean oh, I know, know I positions. know them I know the positions, but as the game would start to progress, it'll be interesting to like. So as you can see, it tells you what are valid moves and what aren't actually if you go down red is like you can't move that one. Oh, so now he has yeah gone, it's so. a two player right now so go to the other one and just and then green means you can put it there now queen's gambit <laughs> now go to one of them but don't move it just hold down the button it oh, it shows you. you the directions that are legit. That's yeah. really nice. At least then you, you can... For beginners, you can say, oh, where yeah, can you can, I go? you can start to sort of figure out like what makes sense. You and know? Uh, hold it down on a knight. So you can see there's two possibilities there. And if you press it and are going to move it, it also shows you where valid ones are as well with the, the green and the red. So... So this is me playing chess <laughs> against myself. That's right. You're definitely going to win and lose. I'm killing it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to take a look at that really briefly, but we'll take Oh, a that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be fun to see with, with the AI and how yeah. that goes. Yeah. I know that on like um, some of the, the chess AIs are fascinating to figure out. I mean, some of them are based off of... Um, the like uh like databases of games that have been played and right. make their decisions more off of like well what has been statistically the most successful out of all the all the times in in the games people have played that have been recorded what's statistically the best one like out right. of the winning games what have people done um azura says can you play a two-person game uh i yes i think you can but the first well, that's funky because now you're in the middle yeah the problem is he hasn't got the first yeah you, you kind of did a, a buggy thing because you see it's yeah. like you, you can't it doesn't select the first row properly yet uh -huh. um it moves it but it doesn't select it properly so yes you could play a two-player game with this yeah. i believe um it's just a little buggy so but I, i'm gonna wait for ai to do it like we just wanted to show this off yeah it'd be, and it'll be i'm looking forward to seeing what how the ai is and i'd love to know the approach that they take because uh, there's been so many different iterations of ais for chess computers yeah um and it's not an easy thing to do especially with limited memory on and, the atari 2600 and limited rom too like you, you, you can only go so far in depth because also a slow processor yes. as well for trying to figure out things and you just fill up the ram by doing recursive um possibility of movements yeah so it might be better to do a database of It'll movements be, i don't know well, maybe a combination it's a tricky one it'll be yeah. very interesting to see how it goes i mean the other thing is is that um there are sensible moves and unsensible moves yeah. things that make more sense so you can discount a bunch of things but then that's an interesting thing because that's where people found fighting certain chess ais that they would actually like do very irregular moves uh. to begin so that to put the put the computers in positions that they're not particularly used to yeah. because there's a long tradition for example of like pawn to e4 okay like pawn to e4 which is this guy right here there's yeah. that's was like at least in classical chess and even contemporary chess that's what people played for a long time and the, and people who are now doing contemporary chess rarely do that move because oh. there's been so much analysis of it that um it, it's it, easier to throw off the other person if they start with that and they're like oh well there goes all the moves that I've ever yeah. built up in my head. And like and so that's where like and and also players have certain openings that they like. Right. So you'll find when you play people you learn their so that's where computers will sometimes only learn the the main moves. Like that's uh, where if we played pawn to e4 with a computer it's very likely that we'll lose because there's because <laughs> there's just so much more uh information about it. Right. But then the problem is is if you're calculating position to position computers pretty much are going to do a lot better than you. Uh, Thrust says the original Atari chess is a masterpiece of programming. Wow. So, so when we do the chess episode, we'll we'll play a little bit of the original mm -hmm. Atari chess at at say the easiest level and then a hard level. That would be really fun to and see. And then we can transition over to this one and you can compare. Yeah, and see how it goes. And yeah. and um and I'll try to play like I'll I'll make sure that when we're doing that episode, 
I'll actually like let me know so I can practice Feel a little done. bit. Yeah. Not because because I'll just be like I should try to play fast so that way it's more fun. It, it, yeah, we should probably play fast games. Because if you watch me sitting there like thinking for a long time, it's not, it's not <laughs> it's a good be, show. Yeah, and usually puzzle games on the show are a bit rough because there's not much to see. Like yeah. nothing's happening. Well, one of the great pleasures of playing a computer is that they will play as fast as you play. So um, right versus a person is fun, but sometimes you can like take forever try to play someone. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna get into the main pen alt Ooh. feature of today, pen alt, and I believe this one was posted not too long ago um this update he's doing like little updates to mm -hmm. fix um, bugs in the demo while he continues on working on the game and right now he's doing some really impressive stuff with the dungeon part of it and the draw distance of what you can see not even the draw distance but what yeah draw distance plus what you're able to see like right now he's already done that in towns and like if it's too far away or if it's thick woods you can't see past it but in the dungeon it's more like you can only see around you what your light illuminates and Ooh. past that it kind of gets it just turns into dots which is really really interesting uh way of doing it um <clears throat> so let's take a look and this one is from uh january 29th wow so this is this is fairly early, fairly new fairly which is new. great yeah so let's get going here. Uh, don't press anything yet. Oh, you get really anxious. <laughs> get going. Oh, no, sometimes I was just seeing if it was connected. Oh. Here. And you guys could hear it, but can't see it, so I was just getting it adjusted. Fog of war. Fog of war, yeah. Pretty much the fog of war there. Um, so this is a this is something that I've always wanted to see on the Atari 2600, which is a really in-depth RPG with spells and towns and dungeons and things like that. Yeah, we made the right choice to reset. Oh, good. Dios, Phew. kilos. We yeah. No one wants to watch a stream that's Cutting phasing in. in and out. Yeah, you may as, you just watch on YouTube. Then. Viewers would go to zero. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> eventually. Yeah, no point whatsoever. Um, so here's the beautiful title screen with your fighter. And some mountains in the background, penalt, and we don't have a game to continue from. That's okay. Um, so, but it does have saving if you're playing this on an Atari with uh, an Atari Vox or a save. And so, what happened last time is the bug happened. I remember this when we yeah. leveled up. Yeah, that yes. Which is an issue because That's it'd, a it'd be nice to level up. But we'll <laughs> see. We'll see how it goes this time. Yeah. I'm sure it's great. So let's put in a proper name. Oh, am I not on this? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, try now. Yeah. So let's put in a proper name because we're gonna be playing this. Oh. Oh, it did like a friggin'. <laughs> did you press down? No, I just did, and now oh, it like. Oh, oh god. Go to a race. There's a backspace. Okay. Is it right After at the Z. end? Yeah. It's like. Oh. oh god. Okay. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Man. Tex. Tez. Te. Okay. Tj. <laughs> I know who I want. I know what I want. It's same as last time. Oh, what was it? It's just short. It's sweet. Dan? Yeah, man. <laughs> me, me Dan and the man? Me and Dan are going till the end. Excellent. So go to... No! End. Go to end? No. No, not A. Are you going Dan? Dana, man. Dana. We got to do it because we last time we did mail. Oh, I'm okay. thinking that makes sense. Yeah. Because as soon as the... Yeah. Okay. So sure. There we Let's go. And it. you can select female, male, or I think we should other? do. We're gonna do a female yeah. run. Okay. Okay. I just felt it this time. It's, you know. Will Atari Vox be available That's again? That's actually something I always do in, in games, which is weird. I've always done it. Um, is that I always play female characters really? whenever I do RPGs because I just think it's more fun to role play some someone that you're not. I always That's find the, the whole thing. Of I find the romance it. plots weird because then I always want to be a yeah. lesbian <laughs> because I don't want to. I just don't want a romance. It's not homophobia. It's more like I want to get invested in it. And if there's like a female character, I'm super into. Yeah. But, and so sometimes they don't have those options. Yeah. But don't. I but like Fallout anytime I do it. And it's funny the f the women that I know who play RPGs like to play male characters for uh. the. For the inverse, which is... It is about fantasy. It's about yeah. being somebody you're not. And what more can you be than, like, completely physically different? Yeah. Or you can, you know, play a creature as well. Some people do that. 
<laughs> I play a female because I'm going to stare at an ass for 100 hours. That's one I want to be. I want to see. That's a good That's point true, too. man. Yeah. It depends on the game for sure. Yeah, if it's first person or third or whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this one. It's decision time for points. Who are you going to be? Um, are you going to be. So a I think the dexterity fighter? kind of um, affected how much we could hit. Yeah. Um, but strength is how hard you hit, and intelligence is how much you can cast. So. It depends, really depends on, yeah, that extra five, where are you going to put it? Yeah, because I think having a balanced character makes a lot of sense. I personally um, am... All dexterity. <laughs> I'm personally thinking this time leaning towards a dex build, because I yeah. think that I find that we're, we're not, we're doing a fair amount of enough damage, maybe that's wrong, yeah. but I, th I think we're going to be able to grind gear pretty easily, but if I think... Do, that, if you hit more... Yeah but with less. Yeah, and that's going to be the question. Right. Um, I, I think I might, might go right. go towards that, and it's also role-playing, too, you know. In, yeah. in general, it's like when you play female characters, you tend to play the rogue who's more dexterous. <laughs> it's not not always the case, but I've just found yeah. that that's what ends up happening when you play D&D. &D. And he's fixed up the menu system so that it's way more intuitive. Like, you used to only have to be able to go through it once, and then you had to restart and go through it again, but now you can go up and down. I also like playing female characters because often they never design them to be female. They assume everyone plays male, so sometimes you end up in funny situations. We just like... So we've got hit points 11, spell points 11, food 25. I don't know if he's implemented the food fully or not. I wonder if my health is affected by the strength. Um, I think it is. And then if that's the case, I think I would prefer to go with strength. Because I think taking more damage and doing more damage makes more sense. Can we quickly reset and just do a check? <laughs> this is the kind of shit I do when I play a game. But sure. I, just because we're starting a thing, I just like to I'd like to sort of see. I gotta put your name in again. That's okay. Okay. No, it's not. There. Okay. Is it double N or um, single oh, N? Oh, single N. Okay. Dana. Dana. Yeah. I guess if you're Dana, but I've never heard of a Dana. And oh, next. Quick strength yeah let's just see so it was 11 before yeah uh, that's a better call because 16 is quite a jump up well yeah 11, man and then doing more damage out. too yeah because the thing is is typically in D and D, you you separate that so you have strength dexterity constitution intelligence yeah. wisdom charisma intelligence wisdom charisma because what that does is is they're they're all perform different things but by combining strength and constitution yes. that's a better attribute for sure yeah it, it keeps just to it not simpler. to get too meta but <laughs> I'm hey, just, it's time to get meta. but but seeing seeing that result because yeah we get we were getting wailed on last time we were it was getting really down in hit points so any advantage i don't think there's much much here i just want to remind myself of what our what our like goals are for um prices um, oh yes just to just to get back to that because yeah. I, I think this is the easy town and we yeah. do have a because uh talk okay yeah so we need the sling for sure well we do have a a distance but it's a spell but we yeah, run out of that. That's 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 the issue. So I think sling is really And then mace for a hundred first because it's better to hit them before they get to you. Absolutely. It just opens up a whole new world. So we're aiming for fifty. Fifty is the goal. The grocery store, man. Uh we got pretty good food. Twenty five. Rations. So. I'm gonna I might get one because it's only five gold. I wouldn't do it right now. Cool. because uh, I don't even know how much gold we have. How do we get to the stats? Do you just press a button? Oh yeah, yeah. How much? How much gold do we have? I think it started at zero. Stats. Let's see. Oh, 25. 25 Save that. gold. Don't buy food. Yeah, because the then all we need, we just need that sling. That's yep. the that's the thing that we need. All Will Atari Vox be available again? Um, what I did. Um, I'll give you an update on the <laughs> RGB uh, uh, mod. I did some more modding of it. Uh, some more fixing of it. Sorry. Rats. Good. Nice and easy. Um, I replaced uh, ca two capacitors, um, and previously I had replaced the, uh, the power distributor, I always forget the name of it, um, and it didn't make any difference. It didn't make it worse, so my soldering job is, is doing fine. Yay, killed a rat. Um, but it didn't fix it. I still have low voltage. Um, but I've been getting some help in the forums from Thomas Yench and Ice Bosta. Uh, so I'm, I have some more things to do that I can uh, work on. In the meantime, I've actually ordered 
a composite mod for the Atari. So I'm going to mod my Atari Junior for composite so that we can at least get back to real hardware. Um, and then incorporate the Atari Vox and be able to test games properly again. There we go. Oh, Darklings. Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah. I just had my Sears Telegame Heavy refreshed. Yeah. Feels like a bug to me. Why are the walls uh, partially disappearing when moving? I think that's uh, it's just... line of sight. It's line of sight. Um, you can you can't see past the walls, and you can can't see really around them. Um, walls partially. We'll take a look in town and, and try and take a look at that and see if it feels natural. You're getting wailed on oh, a little yeah, bit. It's need, okay though. We can, we should you should get healed. Ah, oh, we'll we'll heal in a sec. Ten hit points. Yeah, move away. Bam! No, not quite. And Run I... away! Well, we just gotta kill him. We're so close. Yeah. Uh, nine hit points. That's okay. Oh, you did it. I would go... Healing's free. So go to the castle. No, it's castle. Isn't it? Oh. Isn't it did like... Did you rest? Go, go back there and rest. See oh, if... yeah. I think that's what we gotta do. But there's also healing at the castle. So let's check out. Oh yeah, oh, there perfectly you go. healed. And then I think I got enough now. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's kind of why I was trying to time it so that we we can kill two birds with one stone. Spam alert. Okay. What's well. the spam going on? Wow, it's our first spam. I feel. I do, I do want to be famous, I but first I gotta famous. buy the sling for Dana. We're we... going on an adventure. Okay, that's good news, man. We got a sling going on now. Stats. Three gold. Wah, wah, wah. Should we gr grind more? Or should we um, go Thank into you. the next Thrust. bit? Uh, do I need a real Atari? I don't need um, one. I do. I have a couple Ataris. I believe I have a four switch, and I have an Atari Junior. Yeah, I think I've got another four switch here. Ugh, oh, getting wailed on by these goblins, man. Yeah, I've got a four switch here. I'm gonna mod my Atari Junior, I think, because I care about it less. I think there's a lot more Atari Juniors out there than there are four switches. Um, so I'm gonna do a composite mod to the Atari Junior. And so that we can at least play. And, and composite is fine. It'll look fine, especially running through uh, my upscaler. I would happily send it to, to you one for cost of shipping only. Oh, thank you very much, Spinley. Um, I've, I've got enough Ataris right now. If you've got a heavy sixer, well, that's something different. That's too. a different stuff. I, I gladly accept heavy sixer for shipping only. <laughs> or even a real price, actually. Um, uh, yeah, I am looking for a heavy sixer. Probably more in the box. 18 the gold. Chess piece Atari heavy sixer. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you got the... But, and I've seen a bunch up for sale recently, actually, in the Facebook uh, forums. Uh, Facebook groups, but uh, they're just a little out of my price range. I don't need to fill up the house with more stuff at the moment. All right. What did you hit him with? How, oh, how just, just my, no, S my sling. sling. How much did it hit for? Um, It just missed. Oh, okay. Hit and killed. Actually, it doesn't say, does yeah, it? Yeah, it doesn't really say, but... That's okay. So like, That's I, fine. I my tactic is just basically like let them come to me, use ranged oh, yeah. attacks until they get close. That's the best tactic. And um and then like uh, these other guys, I was getting whale on because they had ranged attacks. Uh, so then I was just using my spells because my thought was why not. And then see now that they're close, I just use my bite and the Sears one I just did composite. No hate. Yeah. Um. Some people like the Sears. I see. I actually, getting... I'm I'm not a fan of the a color scheme of, of the Sears versions. So see... Oh, you're down to 7 on your dragon. I'll be okay. You're down to 11. Out of 16. Nice. So I only took... Like, are you going to get the uh, shield next, or are you going to get the better um, melee weapon? It's hard to know. I mean, I'm going to, first of all, heal up, just because yeah. why not? It's to the right there. Yeah. I'm kicking around here. It's like free healing. It's hilarious. Nice. It's Thanks, nice healers. healing. Yeah. 
dungeon there. Jail. Jail, man. Oh, God. No one wants to be there. Our Easter egg, did it actually have any, like, you know, like, any benefits to being here yet? No, it's just a it's little, just this little area. sauna going on. Yeah, you can warm up there if you want. Can't get by that yet. Yeah, I feel like, like I feel like maybe there's something down the road. You know, this to me this game is a lot more Zelda than anything else. He's he said this is temporary. He's gonna redo this. Ah, okay. Yeah, but and everything's kind of temporary in the demo version, I believe, or most things. Oh are. yeah, no, I want to look at the items. I forgot, like because oh, yeah, I'm just yeah. curious what how much different things cost. How is the line of sight defined? I mean, you can see that you can't see around like the jails here like, healings here i thought there was weapons slow here. down right go to the left one okay yeah see it if you look at that second wall as it disappears like you can't see past that wall vertically so it makes sense so it's it's about angle oh i guess it's more like line of sight yeah and for us is just wondering what defines how far you can see and it's, ah, all, it's all about the angle let's go down no no go down one and then to the left no no just one um here let me yeah, show go it. ahead hard to tell somebody okay if you look at that second wall up at the very top there now you can't see it now you can so there's a certain angle that he's defined like in the game that you either can't see it or you can now you can see it again which, see, that that might be a little bug, right? How can you see that wall at that angle, but not that, but then you can see it again? So true. And this is the that funny part, is like playing RPGs my whole life, stuff like that, you just go like, whatever. Because you just know that there's so many, there's so, so, many, so, so many fish to fry when it comes to this. Yeah, so Thomas has a point with, with the line of sight here. Yeah. Well, you do a bit of exploring, and then we can trade. Oh, you know, sure. Because why not? Um, did we find the... I was uh, just looking for the items here, but I, I can't seem to find them. I, it might just be actually just the other... Because, um, see, there's a there's rations. the rations, there's the bar, and you might... May, you, oh, the, hey! So thank you to Richard Garriott, who is the creator of Ultima. That's amazing. Lord British himself. Oh, a hidden place in a hidden place. What's your name? Job. Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> wow. Because there was always job. Like, that was a thing. Oh, you can't get past there either. I think we have to go to another town uh, to... Maybe check in with our people up top. I, I know we've... Ha I think we've already... Uh... Rufus is the real power behind the throne. That's fucking so right. The Rufus! Cat. Hey, Rufus. Meow. King Rufus says meow. Yeah, that's going to be a reveal. Welcome, Dana. Go and experience more. So we're yeah, not so yet. I wonder what our kind of call to adventure is in this story. Um, th one. That I don't know yet. Um, Nobody's we, really said anything in the game. Yeah. So like saying you've got to do this. Go or on we, this We're quest having problems and, with blah. Yeah. Oh, there's some goblins hanging out on a bridge. You got to deal with them, you know. Seek the magic circle. See, that's something at least. I, yeah. I want to go check out these magic circles. I don't think there are stores in this Here. Land. That's okay. So yeah, we, we can, can go to another... Um, I mean, we really should get all the wet... Uh, weapons at this first yeah let's just keep grinding a little bit we just need a hundred more gold um actually they might all be in this area honestly like maybe there's a more advanced section mm, um no. yeah and then oh yeah because then over here is your armor so what do we i think it's leather armor 200, 200 yeah um so what do you think next armor or a melee um I'd probably go, um, I'd, I'd probably personally go armor, and yeah. then I would try to get a different melee weapon later. Yeah. So rather than kind of, um, but it's hard to know. Rats. It's hard to know. It is. Yeah, and then... Ah. Ah. Yeah, I always what I've always loved about RPGs is the is the deep character creation stuff. Right. Like building like 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 having ah. to pick classes and having skill trees and having to choose like very strategically like and when to get you. and yeah and then and the different oh, in in classic D and D 
um, which is, I think, the way everyone should play, but I actually don't even play it this way, is that you roll your dice to figure out your stats, and you make those right. completely random. Right. So, with the, and so then, you have to deal with what what you have. Yeah, so then your character um, creation is based off of your stats. Like, let's say, like, you know, in D&D &D yes. you have strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. Let's say you roll, like, an 18 strength, but then, like, a 2 charisma. Actually, that would be impossible, but, like, maybe, like, a <laughs> like an 8 charisma, and then you have, like, I don't know, like, maybe, like, 15 constitution, but then terrible dexterity. Like, well, I guess it'll be a warrior. And so then you base your, um, which class you do, but most people um, get to choose and select which one they want. So you pick the class after you roll? That would be, oh. that's the coolest way to do it. Well, how I do it and how I always run things is that you roll your stats and then you get to pick which stats you want and where to put them. Oh, so, so, so that, you roll an 18 and you get to pick, pick oh, I want to Which one of these, yeah. Um, and which ones do you want to go with? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and that's more fun for people, but but yes, real ruthless D and D is that way, and that's for more advanced players because that's the fun role playing. It's kind of like this old Voltaire quote. It's like you can't you know change the cards you've been given, but you get to choose how to play them. So it's uh... like you get given a character who has a certain ability, and you have to go well. What what class do I specialize in? And in some ways, it's more akin to life. It's like well, I guess so. If you're born with like five foot two, you're yeah. probably not going to be. LeBron James. <laughs> but it's just not going to happen. Yeah, so then you have to find like a different way, but then maybe be a, an amazing rogue. Yeah, so use it's, your strengths. Yeah, so it's fun to sort of like do that. So it's neat um, in this. I always like those, and I also like having a lot of different classes to pick between. Um, my favorite game, or like really the most advanced thing I did was with Path of Exile, and that was infinite <laughs> amount of character creation, which was a blessing and a curse because so overwhelming the meme actually online was whenever someone looked at a path of exile skill tree they would go um because <laughs> <laughs> uh, i guess when you're playing you're you're dming it's it is a balance yeah. between stringent like sticking to the rules and also fun and playability yeah because if you get too crazy about the rules then people are not gonna have as much fun yeah, and it's kind of like I, I I feel like with um uh with D and D is different than a, than a video game, um yeah. because the grinding aspect of a game is uh certainly I think a unique thing to sort of single player games, um because when you're playing with a group I think it's more story oriented and more social, so you have to kind of um, Benjamin Rivers welcome hey. Versus um, with something like this, this is a more of a more of a classic sort of single player thing because you would never do this in a, in a tabletop sort of like oh, social game. You would be grinding for hours and hours. Like the the DM would say, "Oh, you found this cool new item in the treasure chest after yeah. the rats." And I and I always try to integrate story with dungeon crawling, and that's really difficult because in general players have different interests, which is just the way that it goes. So you, let's say you have a group of people. In general, someone's going to be very interested in lore. Chances are, you know, wanting to know, like, wow, what's this fucking tower all about? And then you have to explain it. And other people just want to kill things. And other people want to, like, um, have interactions with characters. So it's interesting. I think that's why, like, RPGs are so fun, because you can do all these different things. Like, it's, like, even this. Like, it's neat. Like, you can go out and kill things, or you can kind of chill out in town and if you yeah. try to figure out how all these stuff goes. And I think when an RPG is really working, there's multiple different ways to, um... Long time no see. Yes. Welcome. Benjamin Rivers is a game developer. Oh, wow. Benjamin. I believe... Is that right, Benjamin? Am I thinking the right thing? It's been a long time. He's a old school follower of things that I've done. Oh and, man! Yeah, from back in the day. Yeah, you, yes, you can maybe rest. Rest up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if the opportunity's there, I'm gonna rest. Um, and that's where that's where I'm curious about this game. I'm very curious when the story's gonna sort of kick into gear. I, I, I don't know if there's going to be a big story in just the demo. I think it's just going to be showing. Ah, that makes because sense. Because it's, it's just like, let's get the basics. It's figuring working. out our world. Make sure it all works. Well, and this is um also... Uh... Sir, been a game developer for a decade or so. Wow. Yes, a very successful game developer. Um, with uh, his games being distributed on many platforms. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Welcome to the show. Yeah, you know, right now we're playing Penalt. Yeah. It's very interesting. Well, this this to me reminds me um this this at least Penalt to my estimation feels like a combination between like Pokemon, Final Fantasy and Zelda in its play. You know, the kind of the screen that's kind of like taking turns. The movement stuff is unique. I like that a lot. Yeah, that you that's can where move it differs and, um, from those other style of JRPGs where it's that that's what we were playing with Save Gaia, where it's yeah. like you on one side, the other guy on the other side, and you just that's kind of the, take turns. That's the classic turn based thing. Yeah. And this one is more um uh, more that because D &D of the style where you yeah, movements and range. But what what makes it very Pokemon of Final Fantasy is you're wandering around a world in a like top down view and there's a random encounter so as you're walking yeah, at any uh... point you can get because not that's not a, always a thing, like um like in Zelda, for example, you go from like screen to screen, and the, and it's more live action versus this is more like because it's random. It's like we could walk around for a really long time running to nobody, or we yes. could step one fight, another one fight, Ugh. another one. Yeah, it's, and die. <laughs> it's possible. So it's it. So oh, that's that's what reminds me a little bit of of that which is cool yeah and and uh benjamin river says this is awesome at first glance i thought you were playing the original ultima which is this is what uh influenced this game obviously if anybody's played ultima um yeah sorry thrust bit systems that's 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 the problem is like i'm i, I spent my whole life looking at this stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh, ranged. oh I killed him anyway um but yeah this is this is based off of the Ultimas from the 80s, um, where it's exactly like this. Yeah. Like, this is the, the style of, of attack, and where it zooms into this, this play field of um, when you're, where you're fighting the people, and you go into towns, and it's... Uh, yay. Back up. What's, oh. in, what's interesting is... Um, Almost. Halfway there. Yeah, <laughs> we're so close. Have you ever played any of Spiderweb Software's PCs RPG? They've been making 90s styles RPG since the 90s. Oh wow! No, Spiderweb I... Software. Maybe. What did they? Uh, what are some of the titles? Yeah, that might be. Because um, easier um, to know with titles. Yeah, like um, my absolute favorite is I love the anything that Bioware's done, like the Baldur's Gate series, mm -hmm. and then kind of going into like Jade Empire, and then you know Knights of the Old Republic. But that's also me revealing that's my generation, right? It's exactly. like exactly like as I said, I said in like the YouTube bonus stuff that the first RPG I played that really loved was 1997 Diablo on like a Windows 95, and that was the beginning of my my real obsession with this kind of stuff. But I think it was like. I think it was also um, when I was. It was a. Re it was the perfect solution to escaping my life, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you're a little kid, it, at least the the world I was in, I didn't have like a lot of friends. I didn't have a lot going on. I didn't even really want to be at home. But then I couldn't really go anywhere. So playing an RPG was perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mine just... mine go into the '80s. Yeah. With eight bit home computers, and which is Ultima's. Uh, Ultima one. Wow, one so this four. hits the fucking perfect mark. Oh yeah, a mix of <laughs> the Atari twenty six hundred plus um, old school games that I played. Like it's exactly what I wanted. Wow. I've, I've, I never thought somebody could make it, but just the advancements that people are are making in in these games, like this. This isn't even using a coprocessor. This is this is unbelievable. I think DFSC. Somebody I'm thinking that we're making them. the right choice. I think we should save up for a different melee weapon and see if there's some. Or yeah, should we? Uh, uh, I, uh, oh, we'll just we're keep... doing pretty good actually with um, our hit points. We're not. But if we want to travel far, yeah. that's that's the thing. I've been a, a bit reserved to travel the lands. Yeah, well, yet. let's get some leather armor and then yeah. maybe let's get this mace and then we can move on. Why not just like be completionists? You know. Yeah. Complete the town, buy everything the town has to offer. Nice. Nine, 14 gold. Hell yeah. Okay, so this stuff over here, um, this kind of area. Yeah, follow the water to its full I'm just going to kind of get it. I'm not going to go too far. No, still stick around. Let me just read the updates that this game has had. Um... So we can catch up on catch up on all of the updates since we played it last. 
That's a really good call. Yeah. I think it's mostly been bug fixes, um, which makes sense. Because the last time we played it, it was it was functioning perfectly fine. Like, nothing aesthetically has changed, as far as I can tell. <laughs> That's a really good question, That's Thrust. A, I mean, as this is the demo, there I don't know if there is a really a goal other than to explore the lands, buy all the weapons. You know what's hilarious is this is ultimately, like, the challenge of an RPG. Is that a lot of RPGs have this, like, you reach the end of it and you're like, wait, so you mean the point of the game is to get items so that I can farm... <laughs> more Fun. items better yeah you know it's like at a certain point it becomes like this existential horror where you're like wait have i just been you know it's like <laughs> wasting mi my life it's like minecraft it's like so you mean i'm mining things to be able to mine things better so yes. i can mine things faster to mine things yeah it's, it's just <laughs> recursively and and it doesn't get any easier it ju you just everything levels up yes and everything should stay even as you level up right so, as you get the better weapon the enemies get harder. So say there's 10 moves to kill the rats, there's going to be 10 moves to kill the dragon. Yeah, with a maze, <laughs> so proper yeah. things. And that's where like the the games that really kill, in my opinion, are like party-based, where you have a multiple. And this is why I like that our dragon and our guy, that's... we have two characters. Yeah. Um, the magic, the magic numbers, like... Oh, almost there. Magic numbers like five. Having five different characters is amazing. Yeah. Because then you can really do a party based thing and it's a bit more tactical. Because at this point, the tactics are um, pretty similar. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to expand the party on the bottom. He hasn't really said whether he's going to add more characters or whether it's just you and your familiar or your yeah. your buddy. I mean, I know that it's like an Ultima thing, but it's crazy to me that you're just you just get a dragon right off the bat. Like I got just like a million <laughs> I, questions. I really doubt it's going to be like that. Yeah, like in my mind it's like it would be so cool if you're on your own and then you have to find the dragon. Oh, for because sure. like that right now I feel like um, or, or upgrade. It's like you have a dog and Yeah. You have a bear, or who knows, right? Um, but starting off on your own is really that's a classic. What you, want. you want to be yeah. punching rats, you know. That's <laughs> yes. to me like no weapon whatsoever. Find, or you find a stick, you know, and then you're hitting these like rats with a stick. Upgraded to a stick, yeah. So I think the goal of this game is to get the biggest weapons and the best armor. So yeah, far. and that's where I, I think that I would love to know like what the sort of track of the game's gonna be. Like, what is this kind of call uh -huh. to adventure, so to speak? Like, what are we, what I mean, are we aiming at? It'd be amazing. It, like, the first thing we thought of when we first played this is like, well, look, there's a cat as the king. Yeah. Why, how did this happen? Yeah, we. But someone. Is there a spell? A on the wizard king? transformed a cat into a king. You yeah. need to find the wizard to undo it. Yeah. Um. You know that, that. That seems like the natural thing that would happen. Yeah, and it's like, or there's, a, or we need you to go to this place to sort of discover something. You know. Yeah. So let's see. Character creation. I love when I was little. I loved reading about um, RPG things so much. Is my favorite thing to do just do research and prepare <laughs> yes oh yeah yeah uh and the manual he has with the game is is not yeah i agree thrust that it would be nice to have like an overlay to sort of get a sense of where you've gone um but i mean the that's... original ultimas didn't have that and um and then the goal is the is the big one i mean these early games didn't have much of in the way of tracking ah oh, that makes what sense you, where you've been who you've talked to um you I remember playing the Ultimas. You had to write down everything. Yep. Like anything that's anybody said that sounded like a hint, you'd write it down. Who said it? What town? Then you'd try and kind of figure it out. Um, so I really doubt he's going to have I've explored here or not type of map. Um, because, I mean, it could... I think it would just be too much memory, especially for the overland. Because you'd have to keep track of every place that you can see or not see if you've been there before so this is where the dex build is like i know you're like missing rats you're like swinging above their bit, heads it's a bit rough and now okay let's oh. see shoot getting crashes yeah um breath yes okay rat this rat's going down i think i might be there man 
I I'll think check so. it out, but I think we might be. Oof, so close. So close, damn. And the, the controls are very intuitive. Like, for having only one button, everything seems very I easy like to use and natural. I like the resting you, can, that you yeah. can do that. That that's, is nice. That's really nice. It's like you've got a house right away, right off the bat. Which I don't think you should have. Well, yeah, there's... It's, Immediately. You're, 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 whoa, what? did you see that? It just happened. I got, like, struck by lightning or something. See that? Oh, wow. I just got struck by lightning. It was like... Bzzz. Oh, and you got hurt. Yeah, like, I, I just what lost, like... What the hell? I'm gonna... I'm Go back there. <gasps> What is happening? Are you? Oh, your food! No, no, no! You need food. Go buy some food. Uh oh. That's uh, what's happening. Uh oh. The worst timing. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't hurt in here. I doubt it would. No, you'll make it back. You have enough food. You have enough health to make it back. I think. Also, we're living on the edge a little bit. Definitely. I Especially in a fight too. Um, this is time to whip out some spells, though, man. Yeah. See this? Oh. Yeah, it is. It didn't, you need didn't it. even hit. That's funny. I'm like, yeah, the big guns. <laughs> Ray. Oh, that helped. There good. you go. Oh, you're doing pretty good. Just keep Dana away from those skeletons and just keep the on the ranged attacks. I think the skeleton, once it's beside the dragon, is just going to stay right beside it. There's no yeah. point in it. No spell points. Whoa! Oh. oh, and it didn't let me, like, oh, shit. So it's like you attempted to do the spell, and you went, oh. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah. What can you do? Yeah, you gotta move the, yeah. It's tough because they can attack diagonally, but I can't. It, it's that way in the original game. That's cool. It's kind of a balancing feature that gives them a bit of an edge because you're more powerful. Run. Run. Get some food. Oh, And my. rest. Well, get oh. food first. Okay, let's get some rations going. Town hall! Ye old town hall. It's <laughs> good news. Okay. Is this the rations? I think this is the rations area. The grocer. The grocer. Uh, so, 10 rations. So, all the time you've been playing was 25 rations. So, how much gold do you have now? You might still have I enough. I think I got enough. Yes! <laughs> Just enough. Armor. Yes. Nice. That nice will help a lot. It's nice to have some armor. Um, Did our guy change? No. No. I don't think so. I think he's always had a shield. I mean, it's armor, not shield. So. He always looks like that. Uh, you've only got one gold. It says armor, leather, ranged as sling, melee as staff. Oh, you can upgrade your level. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's do so, that. Well, I got, I'm going to like... um. Rest up. Yeah, rest first, and then we'll go level up. And then you get more hit points. Which is good. And hopefully more damage and, and attacks yes. either. I don't know if your stats go up. If we get a stats Fish. upgrade, I'm doing Dexed. I don't know if... I remember last time, it. I don't think you had a choice of what upgrades. It's just upgrades. That's actually so let's fun. check your stats first before you change Yeah, so it. we're like 15, 10, 10. 15, 10, 10. Let's find out. Welcome, Dana. Hey! You are now greater. Whoa, more health. And. Ah! I just 16. got one to them all. That's okay. actually. I'm really pleased with our uh, allocation. Yeah. Because. Uh, Everything increases nicely. Because, yeah, the reality is, is is strength is a double double hit. Mm. Oh, see, we're already, like, um, down one ration. So I think I'm just going to buy a bunch of rations mm. next round. But just I might. Just load up? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so you don't we, have to worry so about it. So we need 100 it. more gold. Oh! Fire beetles. Interesting. Are these got ranged attacks? Yeah. Oh, God. Because they have fire. Rough. Okay, ranged. Um, so the first update was January 7th, or one of the updates. Um, a more intuitive controls for character creation as requested, which it, now it works really well. Please try this version. Let me know if it seems better. Note that when entering a game, any name less than two letters uh, automatically gets changed to Terran. <laughs> Uh, saving at the house no longer lies about saving the game when no Atari Vox and save key is detected. Oh, Instead, you save just... at the house? That's awesome. Yeah. Big fan of that. Instead, it just offers you uh, to let you rest at the house with no mention of saving. Ah, okay. Go. 24 gold. That's good news. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go check out this thing. It was, it was, it looked like there was like a little area that we could kind of explore. Yeah, I think we can branch out a bit now. Oh yeah. A little bit safer with the extra hit points and some armor to help yeah, you out. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this mace. Um, and then we can get some mace and some health and then we're gonna venture forth. Yeah. Uh, demo four uh, contains a fix for the issue of saving games after continuing from an existing saving game. Demo five uh, fixes conversations with guards in Acadia and implements a suggestion for canceling a menu by pulling the joystick down. So you can cancel out of a menu by pulling. Oh, that's down. really nice to know. Yeah. That's actually might be really helpful. Yeah, cause check this out. So there's like this weird. Oh, the woods. You see this? Oh, that's a circle. That's the magic circle. But it's nothing. Oh, can you do something? Nothing to use. Try cast. You gain the swamp spell. There you go. Damn. Goes. Okay. There. So that's how well, you get a spell. Well, to. Hey, friends. I didn't think that would actually do anything. <laughs> Me neither. I'm so happy that I like <laughs> that I went for it. Yeah. It pays to explore. Wow, that's cool to just know. And I'm very curious what oh, the. Now we can try the swamp spell. Maybe it hurts everyone all at once. Is it or is it the swap spell? Is that what they called it? Oh, it looks cool. like swamp. So I'm gonna go cast swap. Uh, so if you're in danger. Oh my god, that's a great. That's, that's a really, really good spell. that's a really good spell. Because if if um, you're surrounded, you can get the dragon on it. Yeah, and the dragon. If the dragon dies, it doesn't matter. It gets resurrected. Yeah. Each each uh, fight. So. So I think I'm gonna save my swap spell as a, something oh, to yeah. really use as a tactic. Yeah. Um. At the moment, I'm just gonna ray it up because why not? But. Well, you run out of spell points if you do. Well, it yeah, much. you know. But I can go. The thing is, is I get them replenished as soon How much as does I it use spell points for a ray. Do you know? Um. Let's see. So now I'm nine. at nine. I had like eleven or twelve, I think. So it's like it's it takes like three yeah. or four. Okay. But the my 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 thing is is that uh, one of the big mistakes people make in RPGs is saving things and then never mm, using them. Yeah. Consumable yeah. is one of my one of my philosophies when it comes to um, playing Get RPGs is to like um, is to basically just use any consumable that you've got. Like, cause, cause so many times you just keep them in your stash forever, yeah. and then you never use them, and it's actually like a huge problem. Twenty-five, eh, more, one more, yeah, that's pretty. And now we don't have to think about it for a while. Long How are we time. doing for? Stuff? So you get struck by lightning. Twenty-seven. Cool. Okay. So what do we need? A hundred? Yeah, we need a hundred for this mace. So. Okay. Uh, and then to see, I'll go on. Uh... Rest oh, so what's bit. what's interesting is I have twelve um, spells mm. points now. Did you just gain it back? Just it almost feels that way. Let's we'll see watch. if I rested. Yeah, twelve. So I should be using my spells way more. Yes. But leave enough for swap. I don't know how much swap took. Let's find out. Actually, I'm just gonna yeah. ray it up for a bit. So that went from twelve to seven. Yeah. Twelve. To did you gain, eight? gain one? Seems to be the case. Each move you gain one? Wow, you gain a spell point. Wow, okay, every so going move. going um full magic might be very viable. Yeah. Honestly. Cause Oh no range. Cause oh yeah, your range, yeah. Yeah, it's just, there's no guarantee that you're gonna hit. No. I just looked up Ultima on the web. Line of Sight was introduced with three only. Okay. Yeah, I remember one and two were very simplistic. And, like, I think towns were, like, displayed on the screen completely. Like, you could see the whole town. And each little store was just, like, a little alcove you go into. Or maybe that was just one. I think it was one and two. One and two are very strange games. Tangled, rough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like your spell points went up, boom, boom, Instantly. each move, each yeah. move. So spell is very viable as a. An yeah, it's good to, go to know for. that. Next, if we if we play again, I might we can do a full like full magic one. Yeah, like load up the magic. Yeah, yeah. Just see how that feels. Well, that's that's a much better game, I think.
Mm -hmm. Because um, I think that like games that really make you not really able to use spells is, is tough. But in every RPG, the joke is always that the spellcaster is the overpowered guy. There's almost <laughs> it, no game where that's not the they case. Are. Yeah, eventually. They, they, they don't start out like that. They start out the, the worst character, and then they become the best character end game. Yeah. And it's actually almost a big issue. In D and D, what's regarded as the strongest character um, is a fighter mage. Oh, okay. If you double, if you multi-class, yeah. because the you spell defensive spells that you can get oh. um, are ludicrous. It depends on it depends on the system, but in general, so demo gold. See, it's kind of random. Yeah, demo six fixed a an issue when you exited the town. The hometown, you couldn't get back in. So that's a good thing. Um, let's see what else. Fix so an issue about entering that, Arcadia. Uh, that swap spell, that was cool. A, I've changed the spell point cost for the spell you can learn in this demo from 10 to 1 spell point. So any Whoa. character should be able to use it. So that swap was 10. It seems like it was 3. Or something, anyway. More than one. I'm going to use it at a time that it makes sense. Because right now it doesn't oh, yeah, make yeah. sense, but I will use it as soon as... Only when you're surrounded by, like, two guys. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as I'm in trouble, I'll do it. These beetles are actually... So how do you complete a playthrough when you don't know the goal? <laughs> that's a really good question. That is a good question. I think that's what you're trying to get at when we're, like, complete playthrough, right? That's what I listed this as. I think it's well, when we've purchased every item. And we've explored all the areas. Every we're, town. We're just trying to figure out the end. Yeah. Just to see the edges of it. And even just honestly, just for this like practical like thing of uh, making sure that we've just explored the whole thing for the developer. So if yeah, there's any too. things that pop up. Oh, we can upgrade. Level. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I would say definitely after we bought all the weapons and armor, all the heart biggest ones, um, explored every town, talked to everyone, and we've already upgraded our, our spell, so you got the swap spell. And from Yeah, what, so it's just linear, like a level three and... Just one at a time? One at a time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Man, I want to mess people up with this mace. Ogres. ogres. Oh, I don't know if this is the we've That's new. we've faced ogres before because, because we're level three. Level. Oh. Yeah. Hit. Do you know the number of towns? Uh, I think there's four or five towns. Um, from the last time we played the demo, when we we're just messing around with it. Um. As soon as we get the mace. We're just going to go out to the world. Exactly. And just look for every town and start checking out how much things are um, and seeing what the next hardest town is like in terms of buying stuff and how much uh, how much the weapons are. And that's that's all. You can't really buy spells as far as we've seen. Yeah, no, it seems like you can spell. only... Um, oh, I think we might be there. Oh, Yep. No, it's the other one. one. Yeah, there's nothing to buy in this except for rations. Cool, and then I'll let you ah. do some exploring. Thank you very much. Right, so I'll rest you up, we'll buy this thing, and then we can venture forth. I think it's this guy. Yeah. There we go. Now, can you buy something from either of those again, or they're just like, now we have nothing for you? Yeah, I guess you can buy the sling again if you want, but it's not going to do anything it's for just you. Just going to waste your money. I bet you there's a bow and arrow you can get too, probably. Yeah. So yeah, so we got a mace, a sling, some leather armor. Level and three. We're level three. It's time to venture forth. Venture forth on your quest. Um, Which is so? What is what's the key for um, saving uh, in in Stella? I always forget because I very rarely use it. Um, 
So I think that if you go to the left, that's the way that we gotta go. So I think we've explored okay. pretty much most of the right. There are okay. there are like those like dark woods we can explore, but I'm thinking if I remember correctly, to the left is another town, and I think it would be worth going there to check it out. There's, there's no reason not to use those. Yeah. Now, does the ray hit better? We don't know, because it doesn't ever tell you how much. No, I'm assuming that it's probably better than a sling. Does it hit more often? It's, it seems to be. I think it's predicated on your um, uh, magic. I, I, I suspect Mace. that you do a little. It depends on, on how they've scaled it. Um, cause it's possible that it would give you having higher, um, intelligence. Yeah. It will give you more damage and more of an attack. It's also possible that it does the same amount of damage, but then you have a better chance to hit the higher you've got, and then you have more spell points. Or it could just be completely random. Let's explore. So there's another town there. Yeah. Um, he got rid of the ship out of the demo, so that town might not be accessible. I can't remember if that's only accessible by water. Now, also, the dragon has a heal yeah. spell. Um, so See, this is where, um, depending on when we get to sort of more challenging things, this is where our swapping and then healing might actually be essential. Yes. Like, we might need to switch people and then move over, heal, continue to attack. But it's tough because offense is typically the best defense when it comes to this because you need to... Yeah. Like, because the problem is with something like this is you just need to, like, when you're fighting groups of people, you're, you're actually... Got to cut them down. Yeah, because if you're getting hit by three different people, and then you're getting hit by two, that's, that's like a huge increase. Oh, it's terrible. There we go. But it seems like our character is always able to take out the people first. So yeah. I, there's very little call for swap right now that I've yeah seen. there'll be times i think that will absolutely yeah because it also is just random but i think because we've leveled up oh that does take you out of the menu there yeah. we go oh that's good yeah i don't know what i can do i'm just gonna move over for a ranged attack if he ever gets close a tactic might be to move your dragon over and then move your guy up you know like whatever to the right or left so that yeah. way um that way you sort of because i go up right now oh yeah just yeah, so yeah. that you can get if you get i think the goal would be and then pop over to the left and see he'll probably move oh he will and yeah. then now you can nail him with both right. nice yeah yep. 18 tactics more. okay so yeah see that's surrounded by mountains which are impassable uh, and water which is also impassable without a ship and I don't think he implemented the ship back again. In one of the demos, he gave you the ship right away, so you could sail around. Oh, so I guess this There's actually isn't there. an area that we can explore. No. That's good to know. Um, oh. So cool. I think so that I whole guess castle is, that's it. That's, that's it. Well, that's good. There. I guess now we know, and then we can kind of go... Explore the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, go down. Because and... I think there's a town in the woods. Yeah, I think that was what was going on. Oh, Dana! Come on, Dana! Get get your sling working here. I'm gonna use a spell now. Yeah, it's a good idea. I just know this swap spell is gonna be killer at some point. I think might be using it this time. Maybe we'll see what happens when they start getting close. Oh, come on! Yeah, my my favorite thing about um uh oh, see end. now we should use the swap. Maybe yeah, I I do it. Why not? Just because... Yeah, and then and now the dragon still has a... Uh... See? That worked out well. Perfect. And and now I move him over to, like, the... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say the other way, because then you could move up and then double uh, attack. But it doesn't matter. That avoids a hit, moving to the right. If I move to the left, he'd hit me still. Yeah, but then it's just the dragon, because the dragon replenishes. But it's all good. Because yeah. now, now you'll only have one guy to hit, but you'll get him pretty soon anyways. Yeah. Yay! Yay! 53 gold! 
Whoa! Well, that's good to know that it's scaling up with so we, us. Yes. So we've explored all that yeah, area I, with the castle. And I, so. I, and we up and to the right, we pretty much explored. Um, yeah, I went on. I think we have to go, got, got, got to go down, but I might just do a little quick circumference, like a little quick circle. Uh, so we're still on level three. No upgrade. Uh, down? I go up and to the right. Okay. I, I know that it's like... Fo follow the mountain. Yeah, because I think that there's nowhere to go, but why not explore just in case? Cause... Oh, a little bit of woods here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a dungeon. Can't get to it. Because there is no dungeons yet. He's just started working on the dungeons. That makes sense. They're looking he's trying nice, to like, He's trying to keep them all. He's like, here's a dungeon, but you can't get to it yet. Oh, no. Ogres. Okay. Let's get this. Yeah, to me, my favorite thing about these these kinds of things, too, is the um, milieu. Like, the kind of environment and the, the kind yes. of creatures that you're fighting, you know? It's really, really important. to It really dictates the... the feel of the game the and it's it's wild because most of it comes from tolkien you know almost everything which is pretty yes. pretty amazing and i D and D's taken it like um somewhere new which is really nice like i think lovecraft and um lovecraft and kind of um well, tolkien kind well, of combined together is what was what sort of like mm, contemporary D and D is yeah there is a lot of and then the, demons and that kind of thing too. The, the mental aspects of it. Yeah, like for example, the 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 two original sort of D and D creations is the Beholder and the Mind Flare, right? Which are straight from H.P. Lovecraft, but with a little bit of a kind of twist on them, you know, because they attack your mental and and like physical sanity, which is just you know that's that's amazing. <laughs> it is. That's really cool. How is that accounted for in D and D? Your sanity is there a sanity level? There are sanity. You can incorporate it into D and D. Okay. Um, there's a there's a uh, basics. It's not there. No, it's, it's not, not a stat. Yeah. But what what they do do is there's a thing called a um, will save, and your will is like mm. your 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 consciousness, like your ability to sort of discern reality from fantasy and all this stuff. Yeah. So what they'll do is they'll do they'll attack your will. And then they'll take control over you. Mm. So, which is very cool if you have a group of four people playing, yes. and all of a sudden now you have to figure out it's devastating. Do you do you attack your friend? <laughs> That's right. Who's now attacking you? It's all defense at yeah. that point, and and uh, locking them in a room or something. trying to do something to sort of you know. How, how do you deal with that player that's taken over when you don't want the other players to know that that person has been taken over? Well, that's if you take them out of the room and talk to them. They know. In in D and D, they call it metagaming, and what it is is that it's a it's a staple of role playing. Where if you're role playing, there are information that you, the player, will know that your character won't. And so it's actually one of the only things that DMs are really supposed to kind of give people shit over is that if someone's making a decision based off of information they, the player, know that the character couldn't, then they're actually breaking kind of some of the rules. Oops. There we go. Forgot the. Uh... Forgot the little cartridge. Oh. oh no! If that makes sense. Yes. And so they have they have a thing called tabletop talk, and table talk is where the players can talk, but without their characters oh, knowing. So okay. it's it's so it's interesting because, and it's undoubtedly going to influence them. Oh, we're in a new area. This so I'm just following nice. the water right now. Yeah. And why after not? the water, I'm gonna go into the hidden areas in the middle. And I feel pretty safe with our like 220 we're, health. We're doing like, great. And we don't seem to be encountering sort of more difficult monsters. No. So it's it, we're kind of in a good spot at the moment. Yeah. There's a um uh the the Call of Cthulhu um role playing game was the first introduction of sanity points. Mm, um, yeah. And then that, but that's a very different kind of game. But then that kind of integrated into D and D for some players and other. Mm. Players, not so much. Oh, you're getting double hit now. Oh my god. This might be, you, yeah. Yeah, these are. These are getting. I was like, hey, these people aren't getting harder, but no, it's neat to see that they are. They can shoot through each other, which still is. Still 18 hit points. Yeah, thank god we got the leather armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're doing good. They're not getting closer. Cause... Also, yeah, they're doing not that much damage. They're only doing one damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's moving. That's really weird why they would move. Yeah, it's just not... It's they terrible. Run, they run out of spell Terri points. <laughs> terrible tactic. 19 gold. Man, when we got 50 gold? That was a good that day. That was a good day. Good fight. 
Uh, we've got some mountains here. Uh, back to the water. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to explore <laughs> when you get... But you're getting gold, so we'll be able to, like, do some upgrades when we get back. Oh, we got some health, too, in between. That's really So we dropped weird. down to 17, and now we're at, like... Now we're at 18 health. How... Just gaining health automatically? Maybe we're eating our rations. Must be. I don't quite know. I don't remember the, that being a thing. I don't quite know the mechanics of this one yet, but... Like, automatically gaining hit points was not a thing as far as I remember. Oh my god. Come on! Be interesting to know how he's made the enemies whether there's a variation within ogres like all are all ogres have the same hit points the same strength or is there some variation it's like there's some randomness or is like all ogres oh, have getting, five i think you're getting you're getting hit a bit like see your health Jesus. is really low now man yeah well the dragon's fine so maybe i should do a heal i would party healed a little bit. I might honestly not kill him and just heal everything. <laughs> Already healed. Oh, there we go. So oh, you, really? only, you only get one. Oh, d does it not take spell points then? Oh, the dragon just has a heal. That can... It doesn't work off of the spell points. Yeah, I think it maybe like just one gets time. one per round. Yeah. Wow. I might try to get back to <laughs> I think so. Uh... Oh, hey, that's our magic circle. Yep. Can you run away? That would be awesome. Nope, can't. In some of the games, you could. You could, you could retreat. And now we're just iron Jesus. That's all. That's all yeah. that we're doing now. Now. Missing so much. Come on, they're just beetles. Ooh, no. Oh no, boy, nine hit points. I'm gonna Ooh. use that. Uh, we gotta use that heal, heal instantly. Yeah. Party healed. What would that get me up to? Jesus, eleven. But they they hit you a couple times, yeah. so you're. There we go. We're almost back to base, so. Yeah, we're. Oh, okay. Just keep fighting. Just yeah. keep going. Hit. 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 Uh. Good. Okay, we're good. I think we're pretty close to the town again. I think it's just up a bit. There we go. Whew. Not that we're super in danger, but it's we're just nice. Close. It's nice to know that we're we're doing okay. What's the key for uh, saving? That's a good question. Because I would like to do that. Yes, is a good point to save. Yeah, because we've explored a bit. Because I don't use it very much. Hotkeys. Uh, save state. Save state, F9. Okay. When I was little, man, the amount of research I would do going on? about about games was an insane. I would oh, yeah? it would just like I'd yeah, hang out in the library and try to research and calculate like the best. <laughs> I was doing like you know I was doing like mathematical equations, oh, trying okay. to figure out like the most optimum approach to different things. Um, just keep going down. We did explore. Let's go all the way down and and, and see how far. I think we did explore all the way along. I think we did too. But we'll check it out again. Well, what's interesting about some games is there's actually almost a there's a there's a perfect games that scale with you. I'm not as a big fan of. Yeah. Um, because there's a, actually a point where it's pointless. Yeah, you don't actually want to level up. No. Because what's interesting is then if you because there will be a, a perfect balance of best gear, best items. Yeah. But the problem is is like you know meta gaming is 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 in some ways the the death of the game. Because... <laughs> it is. Yeah. You're 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 thinking about it too much. Like you're playing the stats. Exactly. Which is. 
what I used to <laughs> obsess over, you know? And I like and I actually think as players that that's one of the one of the kind of staples of RPG design is making sure that it has a, a, a good meta for players like me and yes. then a good, very casual kind of thing for people who aren't um, cool. as deeply interested in the mechanics themselves. There. Cool. Uh, so we've gone all the way around the water. So now we can go across this bridge. This has got to be somewhere. Yeah. Gotta... Nope. Is this... Nothing. So there's that town, another town. That town that's isolated by water. Can't we go can't across. Get to unless there's a boat. So, we've explored all that. We haven't explored the middle. Let's check out the middle. I mean, yeah. this might actually just be our little magic circle. Will this have a ship? Yeah, I don't I... think it will, because I have... we haven't encountered another town yet. Actually. Well, this, I think this game will have a ship, but I think, um, I don't know, I don't know if this demo will. The, yeah, the, de that's the early that's demo the... had a ship. Yeah, which was, but and then there was a, there was, an, and I, we were in another town. I've been to another town. That's true. In an earlier demo. In an earlier we demo, in but I guess with this one, that he might have just like basically locked it off. So it's yeah, just the basics. And there was actually weapons. There was higher weapons in that other yeah. town, but we can't play that game because it has crashing problems. Yeah. <laughs> that earlier version. Well, you know, it's when we you, did look at them when you go to um. Like proper D and D, there's just there's some game design things that they'll do on in the uh, role playing stuff that's so much more fun than PC stuff. Like for example, cursed items, items mm. that will have like random things that we'll do. So for example, like in the campaign that I was running, um, there's there's a, there's a dealer who was selling items. And they were all for like way cheaper than they should be. And he was offering like some haste boots, which is very powerful. And then it's actually called the dancing boots, which make you like dance incontrollably. And of course, the players haven't used it, and they're gonna use it at a time when they're like, "Oh my god, we need this like haste ability, and it's gonna fuck them over." And that's really fun. And and that is what's sad is that now I think a lot of games don't have those more fun kind of yeah. things because it's like people don't like to be people would be pissed yeah and a lot of i think there's a hard line between like what is it that draws people to rpgs i think there is a huge part of people that want to enact god complexes that's actually a huge oh um that's the, in some ways that's the i think the desire of the metagamer is to become a god to be able to do everything seamlessly perfectly without yes and what's difficult about that is that um, uh, they, on. they fail to understand that that doesn't make it more fun Someone when you become us. God. Because right here, it's like the moment when we're fucked over and you're like, oh my God, we're down to like nine health and we need to use some we're tactics. That's when seven. it gets fun. Yes. But if we were to just roll through the game e seamlessly. Go back to town. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're not far away, so. Yeah. I'm just exploring that, that woods over there. dark woods here yeah and so that's the magic circle that we already okay. already checked out and then let's check out these woods uh, yeah so we figured out that one that's where we got our swap spell it's good that we're learning these things incrementally mm -hmm. oh you just did a regular attack. damn it it's all good the uh, the controls are amazing like, oh yeah it's so responsive. it's so intuitive really intuitive you get to learn them really quick and their use of just one button is incredible like pressing the button with when you're doing nothing goes to the menu everything's in the menu oh, there we go good come on nice it's all on the dragon which is great because dragon heals i might use this spell now uh which one or you could or you could just move over and hit him Nah. Just because you got that ray attack, which... Oh, yeah, yeah, might as well. You know, because it... It doesn't see... I don't know. I don't know what, how... how the oh, that, is... see, see, this is where, like, if I were playing a game, I'd immediately start Googling and <laughs> figuring out, like, what is mo the most optimum. So here's... This has to be, like... Look at that. Oh. That, there's, like, a special spot there. looks like a special spot right yeah that i think one... it's just a i think it's just a piece of ground let's yeah, then maybe this use. is where our um uh 
is this where maybe our second town is, man? Because I feel like we haven't... Uh, there's nothing in here. Oh, Bugs. Beetles. <laughs> maybe there's just one town. would be hilarious. It's just this version, though. Yeah. be able to get this playthrough done in one, <laughs> one go yeah and then we'll just have to wait for an update yeah which isn't a terrible thing yeah yes move diagonally come into my <coughs> line of <coughs> sorry line of sight sometimes the cat hair gets in my uh, oh yeah oh, I forget. oh yes don't want to be blanking out potential overheating issue right there. Yeah, there we go. Oops, did I accidentally move? No. Oh. Down to 17. I am doing just fine. Oh, yeah. Death to beetles. Oops, not breath. That's well, okay. Still works. He gets the job done. getting wailed on this poor <laughs> poor dragon poor dragon death yes one more oh, it's all good doesn't matter um these random encounters can get annoying if you're trying to get somewhere yeah that's the kind of like Pokemon Final Fantasy challenge was that, you know, you'd always... But you'd always have the ability to run in those games. Like run away and yeah. surrender? Yeah. Which actually would be a, a really nice feature if I were to suggest anything to sort of help. Because there are yeah. certainly times where... where you're like, oh, I don't want to fight, right? It's well, like, yeah. Yes, I want to explore. I don't want to fight. And um, and then and the thing is, is then you take a risk, right? Because you need to kill things to level up. But yep. the problem is, is that if you're exploring and you maybe you're not scaling with it, so I think it's totally fine to have a run button. And yeah. um, in some games, you get penalized by like it failed. And then yeah, and then hit they you. hit you again, and then it go it failed, but then you maybe get yeah. to get to do it. Because I think with this with this style of game, they both have that as a as a feature. Yeah. Um, I really liked Final Fantasy VII and X. I played those games quite a bit. Okay. Um, Ten I played a lot of, which was a weird game. Very weird game. Don't but all those Final Fantasy games are very strange. Don't know anything about them. The biggest thing I know is I, I went to watch the animated movie Final Fantasy. And that was like mind blowing when I saw it. Yeah, that was like some of the first fully computer graphics um, movies, I think. Of, of people. Yeah, it was. Um, in some respect. Okay, well, is that it? I might, I might yeah, heal up and then, yeah. See now it's just <laughs> it's like ah, that's okay. I deserve it for not looking at my stats. Oh, oh. I wonder if we can level up. I feel like we must. Oh, at this point, for sure. We've, we've been wailing on people for a while. Yeah, the Final Fantasy games are, um, are 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 cool because they have they all have very deep end game bosses that are like almost bonus. Oh, okay. And I love games though, like that. So like you can like you know once you like the final boss of the game is not actually the final boss. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's another boss. Yeah, that's always ridiculously like overpowered. Oh yeah. <laughs> Because in Final Fantasy, you get, you max out at 99,999. And so okay. the only way to beat some of the final, 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 like, bonus round bosses is you need to, like, make sure your stats always do that amount of damage. And then you can attack the most times per round. Oh, okay. Because you have to be defeat people who have, like, 30 million health. <laughs> so Seems it's absurd. About yeah, it. so then, but then that's, I, I, I loved stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we can level up. Yeah. Uh, and we got tons of much gold. gold. We, we got Oops. like 300 gold. Oh, that's funny. You can go to the left, press the button, and all the actions disappear. There's like an empty... Maybe he's reserving that for another set of actions? That's very possible. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 346 gold. I don't think we can buy anything more. No, nothing that would actually be useful to us, I think. Um, there's a, and there's only this town. 
I mean, yeah, because we sort of, these are all our, you know, no, we don't need a sling. And he doesn't offer anything up. Yeah, and then, like, we got the mace, which is, no, we don't need that. Oops. Yeah. Arms are now scarce due to our troubled times. <laughs> yeah, man, the times are so troubled. <laughs> they definitely are. See, you really, one thing, too, about RPG design is you really do need to reward the player for talking to NPCs every once in a while. Yeah. Even if it's just, like... Oh, you're a great warrior. Thank you for your help. Here's 10 gold. Like, some reason to sort of go. Because the thing is, yes. is that God bless these people who fucking listen to NPCs talk. Because <laughs> seriously, there is, yeah, let's buy a bunch of rations. Oh, yeah, we're dead. getting down. Because seriously, no one does that. No. And if anybody does do that, that's engaging in the game in a deeper way, and you should be rewarded for that. Oh, yeah. The mountains to the south hold great magic. Oh, let's check it out. Uh, is that but, the ones where we got the, the, the circle? Or no? No, we were told about the magic circle. 2600 Ultima clone. Yes. Yeah, that's the that's what we're doing, man. It is. It's an homage to Ultima 3, pretty much. Or just the Ultimas in general. I don't know if there's any other towns that's just... Yeah, this is just the town, town hall. hall. Keep going down. There might be some some stuff here. We were troll bridges. We haven't oh. been attacked by a troll bridge, have we? No, I, we haven't been able to really... There are bridges. Hey. Welcome to Acadia. It's nice to be in Acadia. It is. We have a house here. <laughs> yeah, that's... So let's get upgraded. Oh, the fire beetles. So we'll explore a bit more. Well, Kev, we don't know yet because this is just a, a no. It doesn't a demo. He, he he actually is working on the dungeons right now. Yeah, and he said no. It's not going for the wireframe. He's going to be doing this style overhead dungeons, which I like better anyway. I yeah. hate first person perspective dungeons when they are like tile based and you turn. And you get really lost, I find. In those. Yeah, I found the first-person games we've played on the Atari 2600 hard to follow they geographically. Are. Because they're not smooth. They're always chunk, like, chunk, chunk. And it's hard to differentiate um, the environment. It is. Because they have limited colors and limited drawing ability for 3D. It's, like, really tough to do. Um, there's some pretty good ones where you have to turn your monitor sideways. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. That's right. And because you can draw horizontally really well. So if you turn it sideways, that means you can draw vertically really well, and you can draw walls and heights of walls. And there's uh, some amazing demos, but it's unusable because yeah, who, who's going to turn their monitor sideways or their TV? I think it's called Merlin's Walls. I think it's that's the one I'm thinking of. Oops. No! Okay, close enough, Beetle. Now you're going to... You're in trouble. Oh, um, Kev is just saying I use a program called Grid Cartographer to map in the old games now. Grid Cartographer. Yeah, the there's the one this developer is using. Some tile something uh, to map out, and it looks really really good. Stop it. No! Dana! Press the button too early. Ooh, that's good to know. You can make D&D &D maps and stuff. That's ah, good for... That's a good note, man. That's very Grid handy. cartographer. Yeah, in the thread of this game, he talks about which one he uses. So, that's good to know there's multiple options. There's, there's nothing by here, is there? Welcome, Dana. You're an upgrader. upgrader. I love it. So we're, what, 13 stats now? Yeah. 18, 13, 13, level 4. Yep. Lots of gold. A lot of gold. <laughs> we're killing it. Yep. Seek the magic circles, which we did, and we got upgraded for So it. let's keep exploring down. Okay. I think we'll, but, and I think that, like, uh, then we might be able to call it soon. I think so. Which is kind of sad and also nice at the same time, you know? We know that goes nowhere. Yeah. This is the magic That's circle. Also, keep going down. What's this one all about here? This is the one where, it... oh, shadow orbs. Whoa. Okay. See, this is kind of fun to level up. We don't have any better weapons. That's the problem. Yeah, you're right. So at a certain point, we're just gonna get wrecked. Yes, we are. 
And then we can't run away either because of the nature of this thing. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we shouldn't have leveled up, but we get to see uh, bigger uh, enemies. Yeah, I don't think you we, are blasting. We'll see how we do, Jesus. but we might not want to. Because look, 13. 13. Yeah, what we need Jeez. is we need to be able to deal more damage, and we can't even seem to hit these characters. No. At least not kill them. Oops. Yeah, see, this is interesting because... Um, yeah, man, using grid paper is such a good... It is. It's such a... That's the thing, them. too, man. Too I bad. find that, like, when I'm doing, like, building maps and stuff for D&D, for &D, I always... um What I what my trick has been is I'll grab other people's maps, but with just numbers, and then I'll decide what's in all the areas. So that way, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think we, this might be the end of Dana's, <laughs> dragon Dana's dream, man. Yeah. Uh... But I want to... Just in case. Oops. Oh, Piskel is good software to transfer sprites from, from paper to digital. I think, yeah, because also being analog and writing things out is just so much more creative in some ways. Back to town. Run. Yeah, let's see. I think we're going to die. No, we're not. Now, I personally would heal, heal right away. Yes, definitely. And these guys don't have ranged attacks. Yeah, we're so. not fighting shadow orbs, <laughs> thank God. Yes. And when the dragon died, it said he, he dissipated. So it's, he's, he's more like a spell, he's like, uh, I'm more like rather a, than an actual creature. Like a spirit, a fey dragon. Yes. I just really think that getting the dragon would be a beautiful reward. Oh, huge. Yeah. Oh, man, D&D is the best. Which um, uh, addition do you play, Generation to Games? Um, I play 3.5 and 3, because that's what I grew up playing. Um, but uh, but I also played some advanced D&D. That's where I first learned. My dad actually taught me to play advanced D&D. That was the mm. first system that he Dispates. would... Dissipates. No! Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of new, there's some newer systems that pe some people really like. Um, a lot of people play Pathfinder now because it's so much simpler. Oh, five hit points. Five hit points. Yeah, let's get. I don't want the gold. Get. I need the health. Whew. Wow. Save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's, yeah. So we've we've definitely been around this area. Then we have a kind of darker area down yeah, those here. Those are the two dark areas, and then below here is, is well, blocked water. And what's what's over here? And then this dark area is there something? Yeah, it's just mountains. We can't see. Can't see past. This the is mountains. where I want, okay. So we can't do that. And then that's just a, oh god. See, we're gonna get killed. <laughs> You're blasted. They don't even need to. Look, four damage, whoa. And we can't run, that's tough. Yep. This is where we need like a, we need something better than a sling, <laughs> seriously. Yes. I'd start using that ray attack, personally. Okay. Just see how, see if that like. Hit him. Yeah. I just gotta watch my uh, dragon's health. You gotta watch your health. I think this might Four. be this might be our, the end of our story. We'll see. We can re always re re redo it, which is good. I'm so dead. Oh man, yeah. So yeah, the you played the original stuff, man. First D and D is is classic, and then like advanced D and D second. Oh, so you and so you skipped over the one that I do. That's funny. So fourth and fifth. Um, people really like fifth because it's a good combination. Um. One of the issues I personally, and the reason why I love three, is that there's a lot of downsides to picking certain things. Like everything is a bit more balanced, which I prefer. Um, one of the things about four was it was like every character you could rocks. It's just fun. Like like right now my my campaign, one guy's a bard. It's just really fun because like bards are like notoriously terribly underpowered. Yeah, we're we're done. Yeah, this no is, that's, that might be it, man. We've explored every area of the land. Um, 
That's I love, love, love that Stranger Things came out and made it okay again to play D and D. You think it was uh, shunned? Oh yeah. Before that? Oh, definitely. I, I'm in school about what you know is not a popular thing to to, to be a D and D player. You right. know, and now it's neat because I think people are more. It's much more hip. Like it's people are more willing to. But I think it's also the. I could be wrong, but I feel like this generation is so much more happy to be online and be in more of a fictional fantasy imagination world because of the media use mm. versus when I was growing up, I felt like that was still, we were still on the edge of video games made you a nerd. Right. And, and now it's not oh, yeah. really that case oh, anymore, which is, I love it. <laughs> because the majority of people play video games yeah. in one form or another. So I bought a, bought a drink. I said, I hear dungeons are not the faint of heart right. it's true man slaying monsters is definitely thirsty work it sure is buddy yeah i don't think there's any weapons in this town because yeah did you um did you know anyone who played D growing up or was... oh yeah i played D. oh okay cool yeah not much but a bunch of my friends did uh, it was great those are lots cool. of fun those are good i friends. was never um uh, a dm yeah um so, an incredible but... amount of work yeah i mean darcy played um Dungeons and Dragons as well. Sana. Cast. Ray. Let's swap. <laughs> Let's cast swap. Nothing much happens. A I little... love that. It's like something happened. But not much. Maybe we can cast here. Maybe we can swap to the other side. Wouldn't that be amazing? Ah, uh, no, it didn't work. That would be amazing. Um... Anything else that people want to see in the game? We've, I think we've fought almost every monster there is. I mean, I don't know if we can, I don't think we can make it to level five is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, if we're well, stuck near the town. Well, we can make it to level five, but I think that's then we'll die because we need more, we need better items and we yeah. can't get better items. So let's try the troll bridge. There we go. There's something new. See there's water on the side and you're on a bridge. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's really cool. I think they're just normal trolls. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how tough they are. Hit. Oh, missed. Cast. Ray. Kill. No, they're not that tough. Not too tough. Yeah, it's so nice. I'm so excited to play your game generation to games. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to do it. Next and... time, I'll, I'll, let, I'll uh, make sure that it's uh, you. Because, yeah, turn. Eastern versus Western is very different. Because, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that, you know, Western stuff is... It's, it's just a different style, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I played a lot of JRPGs growing up. Like, I did a lot of... Um, my, you know, and, and in all honesty, I'd regard Pokemon as that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that is what, what, what it was. And God did that change everyone's lives when we were <laughs> little. Like, I, that had happened to me when I was in elementary school. I was right. seven or eight years old when Pokemon got big. And what a time to get into playing that. And that wasn't my generation. I never, never played Pokemon. Yeah. Just a little bit later. Oh, that's a really good question. Is wondering, is there any Easter eggs based off of the name or stats you choose at the start? Um, I don't think mm. we can confirm or deny that, but that would be really neat if there was something along those lines. Yeah. I'm thinking Dana is probably not. <laughs> I, oh, no. I might cast. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, this will kill him. Oh, no. What am I down to? Oh, 21. I'm doing just fine. Kind of I'm swinging my sword, flailing it around and not hitting him, but... Uh, swinging a mace, you know? That's right. So Fey we'll, dragon. We'll try and upgrade to level 5 just to see what creatures, and we'll stick around home. Yeah. And then we'll probably end it after that, so... This sounds great. Yeah. But this, it's solid. Like, there's no issues, there's no crashing. No, it's a really, it's a, it's a great one, you know. It's intuitive. Um, everything makes sense. The land is cool. Yeah, 
I'm not a big. He just said westerns are more open world and JRPGs are more linear. Right. In, in, I'd say in general that's very true, man. And I I think that there's there's a, there needs to be a harmony between the two, because um, I think yeah. that it's yeah. become it's a bit crazy because quantity does not equal quality. Um, and the problem with with um, a lot of kind of missions that they'll send you on can. In these open world games, they'll have 90 things that are basically the same. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. And it's like, and especially and when people they're. People give up. When it doesn't actually contribute to the larger picture, it's a big problem. Yeah. I, I like open worlds where there is a visible path forward. Yeah. It's like you know what you have to do, but you can wander off if you want. As opposed to, you no, know, you're walking along this line, you have to encounter this monster, then you encounter that. And there's no strain. Yeah, my my favorite uh, balance between those is The Witcher 2. is just a beautiful game. Mm. It's probably one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Because it has a teaser. It has a first level, which is an open world, but it's a limited one. Yep. Then you can branch off to two separate worlds, which oh. are like two halves of the same story. And then you converge in the third. So it's, got like, so it's neat because you can have the open world experience, but it's within a fence that's not so ridiculously large. <laughs> I think that's only for PC. Isn't um, it? Oh, that's for Xbox as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's so good. I love. I really. And the story is amazing. I mean, there's a reason why the Witcher series is probably and, and those uh, those developers are probably the best developers working right now. Yeah. Um, right. Them, them, and um, uh, the what are the folks who are who are doing Bethesda. No, not Bethesda. I'm not a big Bethesda person at this point. <laughs> no. Obsidian, I think, Obsidian, is the other developers. Okay. I think for RPGs at least. Okay. I think I think the the we talked about it on the show a lot, but the the, the Fallout seventy six was a catastrophe <laughs> on yeah. all levels. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah. just a bad just bad content. Um and uh just just it was everything that you wouldn't want to happen in a game. Uh, shadow orbs. Yeah, this is like you're blasted. You're blasted. Damn. I might cast that spell. Yeah. See how. See if that does anything. And uh, your there's... main camera died. Oh no! It's over. It is hot in here. Maybe yeah. open the door. Just... Yeah. Thanks for letting us know, man. Sorry about that. Yeah, it is 25 degrees in here. It's warmish. Check it out. There we're we go. back. Yay! We'll yeah. Open it up, and then maybe some cats can come in too. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. I'll open it right up. Right up. And then everyone will be happy. Yep. It's not like it's hot outside, but we've got studio lights and. This, oh, oh actually, it's way better. I can oh. Feel it. It's oh. like a breath of fresh air. That's nice. Literally. What's going on with that orb on the top right? Yeah, he's running away. What is? That's really that's weird. That's interesting. I'm looking. Oh, for now it. he's coming. Okay, good. <laughs> That was very strange. I didn't see if he moved away, or if that's where he started. This might be the end of Dana. Oh my god. Yes. And probably back down to seven again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, and the fact that you haven't managed to kill any of them any. is a really bad sign. Hey, it's Hari's here. Hi. Hey, buddy, you want to come up? <laughs> Hey friend. Blasted. You are blasted. Dragon is blasted. Four hit points left. Yeah, we'll let ourselves be killed. Because that's a good ending. <laughs> Not a nice ending. We grew, but we conquered, we died. The shadow orbs took us out. Well, that's an interesting thing, man, that I, I actually think is a really interesting Bye, Dragon. design <laughs> problem in a way, is that there is this balance. I personally... Um, no, there's no items in battle, just gold. Yeah. That would be nice. That would be awesome. Um, like finding a sword or... Or even no... just things you can sell, like even if you just find like some like jewels or... I don't, I, this is, I don't think he's going in that direction. No. Where you have an inventory and you can sell and it's buy. It's just so much stuff. Um, the, it's almost too much stuff, I guess, right? You die. Bye. Bye. You've been restored with one hit point. But then you can get yourself back so do we have... hold on do we have all do we have I bet we have all our stuff no we have none of our items but we have all our strength dexterity our level none of our and gold. no gold so we can't we can heal at least and get that back yeah so that's really messed up man i might i might like um uh, oh, gold. 
But and, I mean, oh, now you're dead, right? Because yeah, you you're have no and, weapons. And you can't level up, really. Wow. See, I might take your gold away, but leave your items. That's what I would personally yeah, do. Yeah, one or the other. Like no, no keys or anything, man. I would. No. It would be nice. I think that taking away your items is is very, very cruel. No um, ranged weapon. Well, yeah, because it's just like there's no way that we can recoup. If we're up against an orb again, death. We're dead, and the problem is, is that like now we need to get because it's like basically it's it's uh, it's three hundred and fifty gold in total that we need because we need yeah, fifty for the sling, hundred for the mace, two hundred for leather armor. So there actually is some huge advantages then to playing um, a, more of a spellcaster. Yes. Uh, because then at least, you know, because then if you were to die, you'd never lose your spells. Yeah. Like, I've got a, a stick to hit them on the head with right now. Do you, do you, did we lose our swap spell? Uh, I don't Let's see, that'd be interesting so. if we did. No. No, yeah, so then there's some huge benefits to... But no, it's like there's no... We're dead. Like, I don't know how... We might even be dead from this battle. Oh, I guarantee you we are. I'm down to 12. Because we just don't have the damage, and we also don't have the um, oh. the ability to really recoup. Now you'd need to, like, heal, potentially. Uh, yes. But yeah, there'd be a reach a point where you just couldn't... You couldn't, can't continue. Yeah, well, and the thing that's tough about oh, that this model us. is then there's no benefit to really leveling up. No. Because there's no point. We'd be better off collecting, staying level one, collecting all the best items, and then racing through the game. And because in some ways, leveling up just makes the game harder. It does. If it doesn't you really can't it, level up your it weapons. It doesn't, it doesn't give you time. any real benefits. Um, that's where I personally prefer the model of like areas are inhabited by different creatures uh, because then you and then you move to that area. Th that, that's I've always preferred that. Um, they claim that that's what Bethesda was doing, but they've never really, I've never really felt that. <laughs> uh, I, I have. Like, if you go in certain areas that's like infested with those raptors, they're not raptors, whatever they call them in the game, like those dinosaur kind of characters. Oh, like Death Claws? Death Claws. Yeah, Fallout's, like, Fallout's you better. You can encounter them immediately. Yeah, because Fallout is very is much yeah, better sorry, scaled for that. Because, yeah, because the, the the Skyrim, Oblivion, You can do with um, Skyrim, Morrowind. too. Like, the Giants. Like, there's area with Giants. That you, is... You even get close to them and, like, smash and chuck you a million miles away. That's true, but they're so easily avoided, you know? They are. It's like... They, they don't come after you. Yeah, so we're dead. So, really, that's the easiest uh, enemy at this point. Yeah, man. The, the developer of this game is a legend for its work on Atari-based tech systems. So true. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, like, the text is so intuitive. Um, it looks really good. And he's got two different views of it. I think it, it would be totally fine. To, I think color. it would totally be fine to take away all your gold. I think yes. taking away your items is a little bit cruel, personally. Yeah, that's because now I can't keep playing. I think playing. that's better than keeping your gold and taking your items. Yeah, because the thing is, the thing about losing your gold is we had three hundred and fifty gold. So if we were saving up yeah. to get something, so then you feel like there's actually like an investment in these items like getting leather armor getting the thing so at the moment if i were to metagame this game yeah i would never level up i would buy all no. the items and then i would just push through and it would be pretty slow getting those items because well, well not no, really no because you'd be able to kill things really quick That's yeah because you're fighting things that are scaled and then once you get those you items don't get much gold for them. Yeah, but you would be able to rip through people, and then when you get to the harder levels, then you can... But it depends on how it scales. Or you could stay back, like, a level. Mm -hmm. Like, level up slower. Yeah. Like, you're a... Oh, you can't really. Or just stay at... Yeah, because I wonder if you are eligible for level 4, and you go to her at level 2... I think you only you go, go one. Three, I think four. it's only one, two, three, four. I don't think you pop up. Like I think that basically, I if if I were to guess, I'd say staying at level two would probably be yeah. the ideal. Because level one at this point anyway. Yeah. Um, level one's too slow. And because I think that when we had like eighteen health, that was good. I think our yeah. stats choice is actually the best. I for this, yeah. Having more health makes more sense. Can you go back to your body? No, no. there's no body. Yeah, this isn't. <laughs> this is not. This isn't. Advanced this at isn't all. Diablo. No. 
Um, yeah, so great, great game. What's the pub for this? We game? have no gold to even buy anything because oh, we got killed. Um, stay and have a drink. Yeah, because the problem is, is that, and this is actually a lot of RPGs face this issue, is that you want to encourage the player to <laughs> want to level up and yes. encourage them to want to explore and encourage them to talk to people and engage with it. Mm -hmm. Like having some of these NPCs offer you things... You yep. know, like, for example, let's say that, like, one of these mages offer you, like, a magic armor that costs, like, a thousand gold. Like, yep. that's cool because then you're like, well, shit, man, now I got some stuff I can kind of work up to, you know? Yes. Yeah, okay. there's some really big item that you're saving up for. And you have to remember where that guy was. Yeah. And and then you can also have stuff. Yeah, just, to, just so that there's, like, more of a reward for advancement. Because right now I feel punished by by turning to like t becoming level four was the worst decision we ever made it was um it really i'd say was. level three is actually probably where i would stay i yeah. think three is optimum because as soon as we encounter those shadow orbs for the items available right now yeah definitely yeah level three and then the thing is is that even if we did collect like better items like bigger better items we'd probably still be okay yeah we'd be totally good and and better spells yeah um and yeah. and i think doing a if i were to if i were to like um, play any other uh, I mean I think I might consider Spell doing caster. like um, uh, 15 strength 15 intelligence um, 5 dexterity and see how that feels mm. because I wonder how much more because then what you could do is you could do spell 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 and then when they get close you can attack them yeah. and and I wonder how balanced that would be, that would feel level down not usually done. I've never seen a level down. Oh yeah, I've, <laughs> in a game. A lot of games have them. Like the really? games I've played, the more advanced stuff. Um, but that's because of the. But it's the games with big metas, right? Mm. Like um, uh, like Path of Exile, you can level down. You can level down. Yeah, because it's really weird. Because there's certain. There's a lot of benefits to certain choices and stuff like that. Um, and uh, but it depends. Normally, you just make a new character, though. You know? <laughs> right. But no, in this case, it is actually, there's some... Walls well, disappearing here, too. Let's yeah. see. Level down once. That would be nice, actually, if you oh, leveled yeah. down when you died. Like, you can totally... That's the only way that this game works, actually. Uh, because if you level down, then um, then it is more scalable, right? Because then if you're, like, level 4, you go down to level 3, 3 to level 2, and then you can build back up. Oh, level down once at death. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Uh, rather than taking away, like you could keep all your items and you get leveled down. Maybe that's yeah. a good punishment. Um, yeah, this these walls that doesn't make any sense. You yeah, can take see away them there, your... and you can't see them there. Yeah, if you're gonna take away your gold and your weapons, you can't see it. You, um, can't see it. you just brick a character, so that way leveling down would be a good option. Yeah. In the current state, if you wanted to remove both, I personally would um, keep the items, kill the gold, remove the gold, and um, but that's more of a casual. Uh, the other thing is, is that a lot of games will have a hardcore version and a softcore version. Yeah. This would be more of a hardcore um, thing. Very. The, I don't the, even know how you can proceed from this. Yeah. Um, and now I, the, it's not possible. And and I mean the true hardcore is when you die you're just done but anybody can do that. Yeah. But I think that this is a much more fun. this is a much more hardcore um, uh, yeah. challenge because our guy's bricked now. It's like we can't really we can't even really play the game. Yeah, we have to stay in the town. Yeah. <laughs> We're too scared. Um. So the leveling down makes sense and something that's more. And the other thing is is that you can make it so that uh, um, that in the soft core version um. There, you're, you maybe you just lose your gold, but not your items, and then the hardcore yep. version you also lose your items. Yeah. So that just creates Play. some more of a more of a challenging thing. Very challenging. <laughs> very very challenging. Uh, you'd have to uh, include running away. Yeah. At that point. I think running away, and then also yeah. I would really love it if I went on a bit of a journey to get our like dragon. You know, I'd love to start oh, out on yeah. my own. It's just such an easy like thing to implement because right yeah. now there's not that much progression that can happen yeah. versus let's say the first mission is to just get your familiar and yeah. then as you level up the familiar levels up like that would be really nice yeah. because the problem is, is the dragon is pretty lateral um yeah. versus like if you just start if you started with a dog who can just bite and yeah. then you get the breath like that would be really nice that'd be really good and i mean if you're just by yourself you're it seemed to be always against four enemies. yeah so maybe st to start with two enemies if you're by yourself 
penalty death is fine, but I don't make it so harsh the player does not want to go through all the progression again. And in really... this case, you actually physically can't. Because, like, let's go and try and kill someone. Like, I don't think we can do it. There's only two enemies at this point. And There's that's... trolls and those... If we hit a shadow eyes. thing, we're done. But I think every time you fought someone, you've essentially died. I have. I, don't... I haven't succeeded in. Let's try. It. Let's try and and, and succeed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You in in do our. Even the troll. Come on, hit me. I'll try my best. Oh, we're dead. Yeah. Man. So. Yeah. So dead. No, I don't want to attack. I'm gonna move. Like we've got one heal. One, two, three, four. All of them can hit you. They don't need line of sight. Yeah, That's so... Why these guys are so deadly. So now it's like cast that ray. Let's see what that does. Hit him. And then breath. Until we get down a bit, then I'll do a heal. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know... I don't know if it's possible to win this. Oops. We'll see. Yeah, I'd, I'd maybe heal after this one. Yep. Yeah, it's seven. Uh oh. Dude, is that fate? <laughs> that might be fate. Crash! Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Is it our Stella? Yeah, Stella Crash. Stella! Oh, we're hey, back. we're back! Oh, good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, yeah, save ah. points would help but i think that the the real issue that we're facing here is that this is not even a question of like this is like a can't like I we can't I killed like, one like we i don't know if we can physically kill two. do this don't think i have enough hit points to make it through to the rest well yeah and, and we've already used up our heal so um i might let them come to you yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, just yeah. do an attack like a random or attack. not I oh shit! It. Because they can still blast oh, you. God. Oh, so I it have to move we, to them. Wow! So we just miscalculated this. Damn it! So we waste, um, wasted one. Even if even with that, I, I wonder. Yeah. Go dragon. No. Let's see. So yeah, this is this. And we did pretty well. We killed two of them. RNG stuff when it has a chance will kill you. Yeah. So there's a possibility you might be able to survive those orbs, but and so the, and then the problem is, is we if we do the math, we need to somehow farm 350 gold. The maximum we've by doing ever, that over and over. The maximum we've ever gotten is 50. Yeah. Um. So that would mean that in the best case scenario, That's we slim. need to do that what seven times <laughs> in a yeah. row without dying. Yeah. We'd um, get slight increases. And then the reality is at that point you just reset. Yeah. Like why would you ever do that? That would just be so miserable. And then if you reset, it's like, well, at least you can scale up and then you don't level careful. up. Yeah. 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 So good. I think that's uh, the full analysis of yes. this. Um, obviously he hasn't done a lot of game balancing. It's mostly this is a demo to prove, Building up all to the prove stuff out and... that everything works. Oh, got all uh, fuzzy. Oh, because the focus goes out when... Uh, oh, no. That's okay. We've been small. It doesn't look so bad when... Uh, when okay, that's small. better. There we go. We've got Atari. Yeah, so I guess if I were to make, you know, suggestions that just summarize the things that we've yeah, been spitballing... Yeah, quick. I'd say one of the big ones is um, uh, encouraging you to engage with the lore. So it would be nice that if when you... That some of these NPCs you talk to can have some real benefits... Um, yeah. that, I, I see that being implemented anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, You're familiar. You don't get it right away. That would be awesome. Yep. And then maybe build up to it. maybe two progressions, like a like a like a baby dragon and a full dragon, yeah. or like a dog and then a dragon. Something. And the way to do that is you just don't give the breath. So you have the yes. first one can only attack. It just looks different. And then that would also really make me feel like I've progressed. Because the problem is, is the greatest advantage in this game is having two players. And a familiar, not really your things. Yeah. So I feel like I'm, I've gotten, I'm starting with the best possible upgrade, and then like my fucking leather <laughs> thing and mace. It doesn't actually, yeah. it's not. And then I would say that, um, uh, probably when you die, I would encourage it just to be a gold hit. Yeah. I think that's fair. I think losing all your items is is pretty tough because it makes it so you can't play the game at higher levels. You just can't. Um, and, and there's really no other option. Like yeah. keeping your gold, maybe you have zero at that point. That's not fair. You're and not going to win that way. You're not going to be able to continue. 
Um, and because no this other and because this isn't um, a Bethesda game, which is open world, which has its own challenges, I might highly encourage, and this is just my own bias, to make it so that the ch is challenging areas rather than. Um, scaling with level mm. so that way I feel like there's a, a progression um, so that I go to an area and now I'm fighting shadow orbs I'm not fighting shadow orbs outside of because I think the, the so you could say let's let's say they have dungeons yeah but it's like you shouldn't go there yet. yes like don't go to the dungeons yet and that way actually allows you to open it up and that's to me one of the most fun things in an RPG it, when yeah. you enter a dungeon you go f I'm messed up now <laughs> I want to now I want to get that mace now I want to like upgrade this thing now I got to get a fade dragon and then that the, then rather than a world where you go right to the dungeon it's like well you're fighting rats and it scales with you because yeah. I will honestly because everywhere you go seems the same so why ever level up yeah yeah i, I wouldn't personally i think yeah. given looking at the game i'd say um uh yeah that's i i agree that's something that i really really quite disliked was because the more went to oblivion challenge and that's um yeah and just and it, it doesn't and, feel right it's and the, like and the problem is is that you had the same thing in oblivion where um it would either scale so intensely that you couldn't physically do it or it'd be too easy yeah um and it's actually i would think it would be easier to program it yeah to just without the the game balancing of that infinite scaling yeah well just by putting you know this area is harder yeah, and that's way the way it is. And that also ben then then you do feel like because at the moment there's a lack of a goal, and you don't actually need I think to have like oh you need to like rescue a princess from a dungeon. But if you feel like wow I need to uh, do this level to get stronger to then do this level, there is a feeling of progression, and that encourages you to level up. Um, and become the toughest that there is. And it's always great to have monsters that are almost impossible to kill. You know, like I'm a big fan of um, of ridiculously challenged, challenging bosses that encourage you to play the game, to get tough, to then go and attack them. So we're going to take a look at his implementation of dungeons. Oh, this is awesome. Um, so we'll get a, a little bit of a, a preview of that. Um, and a Baldur's Gate uh, scale never had any random stuff. It was always area-based. And I think that's mm. one of the most timeless. That's kind of the holy grail of, of I think, integrating sort of D&D &D into PC gaming. And I think it's one of the best models to ever look at. Like, I think if you ever want to, like, know how to make an RPG better, yeah. look at Baldur's Gate 2. Because it is the... And, and if you look at any list of, like, the best RPGs of all time, that is in the top five of almost every list. Um. And, and I think one of the reasons why that's such a great game is it encourages, it, it doesn't scale with you. You want to advance. You want to yeah. go and explore different areas because, um, and there's like a dragon that you can kill or not kill. Yep. And that's an ultimate challenge. And if you figure out how to kill it, there's a great reward. I think in the non-demo version that we played, the troll bridges were like really hard yeah. to begin with. And we didn't want to go there until we got upgraded. Which is awesome. That... So I think he's maybe thinking along those yeah, lines. Yeah, I'd lean that way if you can, especially because that harkens back to old school RPGs. Because new school, why, you know, why do a new school combined with the limitations of the Atari? Yeah. So here's uh, his work in progress of what the dungeons are going to look like. Um, Oh, very cool. So the dots are things you can't see because it's dark. They're too far away from you. Ah, oh, cool. So then, yeah, this is almost like a labyrinth in a way, and you get to kind of explore, and then I guess it has the random encounters in there too. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it would be a random encounter rather than displaying the enemy on the screen. And there's like a little fountain Found kicking some, around. Some doors you it's have to beautiful. go through. Maybe you have to find keys to open certain doors. There's ladders down. That so makes sense. So there's different sense. levels in the dungeons. Uh, Dungeon of the Snake. That's awesome. And then you fight some snake characters in that stuff, too. Let's take a look again. Yeah. And doors. Yeah. So he's got the little wiggly things as if it's like a fog, and, and, and he's, then he implements them inside the walls once you get close enough. I mean, I'm I'm gonna go nuts because I hate mazes, but <laughs> yeah. But it it looks good. It looks like a really good implementation of it. Spell points are increasing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, as he as he explores, I think 11. he created more of a uh, spellcaster type because you can just see from his stats. Yeah, that he was using them. Oh, bye, thrust. We'll see you soon, buddy. Thanks, Thanks so much hanging for hanging out. out for so long. Yeah. 
and uh, hate to have to leave. I said hate to leave. So let's take a look at what is coming up in the schedule for us. Yeah, and, and Kev, I totally agree about if you put in 100 hours into a character, you should feel like you can roll over stuff. But then you should also feel like there's some ultimate bosses that yeah. you could only do when you have like 100 hours into a character. Yeah. Um, so next, on Friday, it's Valentine's Day. Tanya's mm -hmm. going to be here. We're going to be playing some Brazilian games. Yay! And uh, a one non-Brazilian game. So all the ones I've lined up are from the same developer. Um, and they're all kind of tiny games. They're really quick, simple games. And we're also going to be playing Kite. Um, and I can put in uh, some other different games because we've done Penalt. Hey, that's <laughs> kind of like, cool. Oh, we might need two episodes for it. But you just didn't know don't. how big it would be yet. Yeah. I know we don't now, so we can continue on with other things. And I hope it and I hope it progresses, and we can see some progression with it. It'd be really exciting. Yeah, to see I don't it. know if he's gonna release like another demo. He might once he's put more of his stuff in, because yeah. he modeled a lot of this on Ultima. Um, so he might do like a uh, another demo once he's and limit that to maybe you can only go up to a certain level or block off areas. That makes sense. Once it makes a, a lot of sense. Once he's put in more of stuff. And like, and he'll the give boat you is... one dungeon. He'll give you a couple towns, maybe. Telling that boat yeah. is awesome. That's a really yeah. fun thing once once that's sort of like implemented in it. And I do think... Um, up the world. I think having a run feature is really important for when you're exploring. And You know what I mean? Being able to run away from we'll a run fight away. Yeah. would be really, really nice. I hope he implements that because some creatures... I mean, you should take a hit sometimes it's random whether you can can run or not but it's uh i think it's really useful yeah when you're exploring and you want to push deeper and deeper yeah. into the game um the reality is is there's only so far you can go fighting every creature yeah versus running just means you can travel farther distances and especially if you make the game more doesn't scale with you but is more oriented towards areas yeah. then that's neat because you like oh i can't explore this area i have to leave and that way it doesn't punish you for exploration too intensely. Yeah. I may bump up the Evil Magician Returns and Evil Magician Returns 2 to next Wednesday oh, for sick. you. Those are like um, a branch off of the original uh, game Adventure for the 2600s. It's like the minimalist RPG. Oh, I'm into like that. Super minimalist, but it, they, he's really changed the land up and changed like improved the graphics quite a bit. So that'll... I think I might move those, bump those up. Oh, that'll be Wednesday wonderful. Instead of the penalt part two. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no penalt part two. Um, yeah. And we've got some other games. You can check out the, the schedule for some coming up. And I've started to keep track of all the games coming out for the 2600. Ooh. So I know which ones that have come out that maybe I haven't played yet. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games already completed in 2020. Wow, amazing. And say about 20 work in progress that have been updated in 2020 as well. As well. So lo off to a good start. Yeah, keep off it flowing. Off to a big, huge start. Oh, look at um, nice cat here too. Actually, there's been a, a bunch of peril updates. Oh. So that we might... That would be fun we as might well. might do Evil Magician 1, 2, and then peril next that sounds, Wednesday. Oh, that'll, that'll be, be a, a good run. That'll be a really good packed show. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, so let's say goodbye to everybody who has hung out with us Thanks today. for hanging out for an RPG day. It was yeah. a lot of uh, te techie meta stuff, but that's that's what it yep. called for. Yeah, we needed to get into that. Um, so thanks, Dan AVC. Thank you for saying good show. Uh, thanks for Thrust being here. Kev73, Thunkus, Generation 2 Games. Thanks for letting us play your uh, game last show doing the world premiere. Uh, I Sposta, uh, Azure six five zero two Spindley nineteen seventy Benjamin Rivers. Thanks for uh, joining in again. Yeah, uh, I'm excited to play your game. Callback from the past. Yeah, he's got uh, two or three games that Ooh. he's put out, and yeah, on Steam I think they're all available, so you can check those out. Uh, who else? A spammer that I blocked. Uh, deals Buy kilo followers. I mean, thank you for being a spammer, thinking that you know we're worthy of 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 doing it. Of, Why would you ever want to buy followers? So crazy. Because uh, it, no it's idea. not even meaningful. I know. Want to become famous? No, you're not famous. It's yeah, a bunch yeah. of fake bots. That's like, could you imagine? <laughs> you're like, I have ten million 
bots watching me. Like, what a what a horrible fucking. I mean, I mean, you get put up in the listings, and then real people see you. It's about exposure. It's might it's like advertising, but scummy advertising. It's not good. No. It's not a cool move at all. Uh, who else in this list? Repentless VG, Ground Trooper, Charles Reese. And all the other people. <laughs> so much cheese. Yeah, me too, man. I got tons of cheese. Yeah, it's Skyrim as well. Rounds, blocks of cheese. Yeah. Like, that was like the joke in, in Skyrim, like unleashing a million mm -hmm. cheeses onto the world. Um, yeah, so we'll be back on Friday with Tanya, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I'll be here on uh, on Wednesday. I'm Next looking Wednesday. forward to it. Yeah, I have lots, lots more games to play. That we've never played before. It's just endless number of Atari 2600 games. Thanks for hanging out, and we will see you next time. Sounds good. Bye bye. bye, -bye.